clearer and to make sure that I am able to communicate with you at the language that you are. So in order to enhance the delivery so you can get full comprehension. So I am currently working on that and I hope that y'all can help me with that. So when you don't comprehend something, like I really want y'all to tell me that y'all don't get it. And and um, I'll work on brain pick a little much respect, brother. Yeah, 100%. It's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame, right? So I'm learning now to, bro, run the challenge off from original credit removed. <laughs> We're going to get into all of that. So I'm, I'm working on my, my language, my breaking it down even better. And I, I really want y'all to get this stuff. So one of my main missions is for y'all to really comprehend this stuff. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Andy, uh, you need my help. Let's go. If, if you need my help right now, I want y'all to drop mentorship in the chat. Whoever is looking forward to joining my mentorship, I want to see y'all put mentorship in the chat. Um, the three-day challenge that I have coming up next week is going to be fire. If I file a lawsuit because I lost a deal due to item reporting, do all series owe me? So for that, um, Renee Chantel 93, um, my guy, so I can't give legal advice. I can't tell you to sue or not, right? So this is why I'm going to bring Brian Ponder on when he finishes what he's doing. He's a, a consumer lawyer. So he'll be able to speak more on that. I, I cannot give legal advice because I'm not a lawyer. So I really hope you um, comprehend what I'm saying. Once the mentorship changes to another platform, will we still have access to the Facebook group? Absolutely. The Facebook group does not change. Um, if y'all definitely want to get this mentorship, let me see y'all put mentorship in the chat. So I sent out an inquiry um, shotgun in my credit. They said inquiries were fine because of an agreement in the initial credit pool from CarMax. I need mentorship. Shake my head. We're going to get that. Good, good, good. I saw. So if you type mentorship, you should be getting an email or a, a Instagram DM. So that DM is from me. Respond to it. Let's set up a call. Let's find a way to get you in the mentorship. One of my main goals is to help as many people as I can, but I think I'm gonna start putting a number on it. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna we're gonna dive right into it. So I've been put drafting an inquiry. Yeah, let's do some talking first before I boom. I go on this, and then I have Brian here, which is one of the guys that I recommend highly. What's going on, King? What's up, what's up brother? How you doing? I'm good. I'm enjoying this bottle, this bottle of wine, bro. It is good. Excellent. Excellent. So um, I'm telling people about the three-day remedy challenge that I have coming up next week. And um, the writer, let's just say the writer decision has been figured out. Mm. <laughs> Yo, Brian, I'm telling you. The right of rescission has been figured out with case law to support it. Okay. So well, it's, it's, a whole, it's, 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 it's a whole different ball game. So. so when I tell people right now that um, joining the mentorship right now is the best op opportunity, I, I'm running these play. And when you – something clicked to me in the law that never clicked before. And I've been reading the same law, same section. But it took after 15 reads to get this. One thing, you know, one thing that changed the whole concept. And um, I was going through it last night with my mentees. And one of the big thing is that, that we, um, that I discovered and I share with them was the case law. Okay. The case law where it was in the Supreme Court when they gave the whole procedure of what you need to do to exercise the right of precision. That, like going through it, it was like this, boom. 
Mm. Lorraine, why didn't you figure this out earlier? But okay. sometimes you don't know until you know. And when it says, you know, you can rescind any transaction, law says any transaction. And, bro, I'm, I'm not even going to go too deep in that. I'm going to leave that for, um, for the three-day remedy challenge next week. It, so the guy that won, he got his home free and clear using the right of rescission. A whole wow. house, Brian. I'm not talking about a damn G-Wagon. I'm not talking about, you know, a damn stroller. The guy got a whole house free and clear, stamped in the Supreme Court. He got it, bro. Oh, they better log into that, that, that challenge I'm, to I'm learn about that. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The, the right of precision. Whew. I truly believe truth in lending is the most powerful law ever put together. Mm -hmm. So that's, 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 I just believe honestly that truth in lending is the most powerful law. So tonight you just said um, you had put in for a lawsuit for inquiries. Yeah, I just filed one today. I had a client that had 28, 28 inquiries from a debt collector. 28, 28. So, you know what, Brian? What, before you even yeah. go there, a lot of people huh. think when it comes to permissible purpose, it matters if it's a soft or a hard inquiry. Does that make a difference? This one was soft. It makes Good. Does it make a difference with permissible purpose? No. That's like, does it make a difference between someone peeking in your front door or your window? No. <laughs> They're both peeking Tom. And they still do, it, right? Yeah. But it's a good question. Now, one is just more damaging than the other. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the hard inquiry is more damaging because it can, can cost you points and a lot of credit opportunities. But soft inquiries is, is damaging in the sense that it's an invasion of your privacy. It's unlawful under the FCRA. And, um, you know, they're both actionable. So people should be concerned about it. I know for many years, people almost overlooked the soft inquiries. Oh, they, 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 mm -hmm. those don't matter. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, soft inquiry? Ah, I forget about that. But there's more money in the soft inquiries because then those anywhere people, else. Yeah, those peaks in your window versus at your front door are just as important. Uh, you don't want anyone peering into your financial life without permission. And so you have to really look at all those, but there's a difference. But soft inquiries are actionable just like the hard ones. <clears throat> so, no, in, 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 in retrospect, right, and when you or me – or any of the guys who really know what they're talking about. And we say this, and sometimes client, not that they're not in our mentorship. They go out and they dispute inquiries and then they get, um, shout out to my guy, Nicholas mentor. Yes. All right. It looks like we're going to have a, a full house tonight. All right. Bet. I see assets right. in the queue. It looks like we're about to get turned up. Right. Nick, what's Yo. good? Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? How you feeling? I want you to meet my guy, Brian Ponder. Brian what's is the that? guy that I was telling you. What's going on? What's up, Brian? And my guy, Assets. Yep. Oh, what's up? What's up? Um, what's up, D? What's so up? Know How y'all doing? Get lit. Oh, my. It's right about here. to get lit. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> It's it's about to, so tonight we're discussing inquiries, okay. And okay. people don't comprehend. They think like so. There's a rumor go. It's not really a rumor, but the the notion is that you can only get a thousand dollars for an inquiry. And I know that is not true. I right. it's a thousand dollars minimum. Right. But there's key words that a lot of people overlook. Mm -hmm. And now, 
the difference is a hard inquiry versus a soft inquiry. Well, right. when it comes to permissible purpose, it doesn't matter if it's hard or soft. Mm -hmm. An inquiry is an inquiry. That's all the law says. In 15 U.S.C. 1681 N, under mm -hmm. civil liability, when it talks about a person that um, pull it without an express permission or without permissible purpose, it never said a hard inquiry. It never right. said that. It says right. an inquiry. Now, Brian, if I'm speaking anything that's out of term, you know, at any given point, you know, I take corrections very well. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not a guy who has soft skin. So if anything that I'm saying isn't true, as my guys, as people that I constantly study with, y'all need to let me know that the rain, that's not actually true. Right. So if any time y'all hear me put out any type of information that needs correcting, please correct me on the spot. I will not take offense to it. No, nah, absolutely. Definitely under that law, it, from my understanding, it does not specify whether it's hard or soft. It does not specify. Unauthorized is unauthorized. And Hello. the other thing I wanted to ask Brian is, so Brian, are you familiar with 18 U.S.C. 1028A for aggravated identity theft? No, that's the crime. I want, yeah, I want you to look, look it up for me and just read it for a quick second. And because how I tie those two together, 18 U.S.C. Well, 18 U.S.C. 10, 1028. I'm going to grab my laptop. Let me grab my laptop. You don't have to even look that far. I mean, right in the FCRA, there's a criminal statute for obtaining the report under false pretenses under uh, Q. But mm -hmm. I understand where you're going with the identity theft. Um, but that, that has more elegance to it that may be a little reach, in my opinion. But you have under 1681Q... Mm -hmm. is is the crime that's being committed. And in New York, we have a crime in, in our Fair Credit Reporting Act just like that that makes it criminal. Oh, so, report. Brian, this, you see, Q, 15 U.S.C. 1681, Q is actually um, an excerpt from, um, 50, from 18 U.S.C. 1028A. This okay, right here cool. came from 1028A. What's the, what's the title? Um, so uh, under here, under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, it's called obtaining information under false pretenses, but under um, 18 U.S.C. 1028A, aggravated identity theft. You're going to see that it's the same got language. It. Got it, got it. Okay, I get it. I got it. You're going to see it's a really the same language, plus or minus mm -hmm. just a few words. Mm-hmm. and. So A1 or 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which one are you uh, looking the, at? The first one. For ten, we are on A1? Under, under ten, yeah, A1. Okay. So, okay. So, so let's so talk about that. What are you? So, my, so how I tie these two together. How we see 15 U.S.C. 1681 Q, that language. So whoever doing in any relation to any felony violation enumerated in subsection C knowingly transfers, possesses, or uses without lawful authority a means of identification of another person shall in addition to the punishment uh, provided for such felony be sentenced to a term of imprisonment of two years. So under permissible purpose, then pull in your information without your permission. Wouldn't that be knowingly or possesses or uses without lawful authority? Wouldn't that part of aggravated identity theft stick where they use an identification of you to pull your consumer report without your permission? On the 1028A, what are you looking at specifically? So A1. A1. A1, A1 no says one. knowingly possesses or, or, or uses without lawful authority a means of identification. Well, what's a means of identification? My consumer report is also a means of identification of me. Because when right. you go to the definition of what your consumer report is, it's your character, 
general reputation, your mode of living, your characteristics. Congress give all these definitions of what the consumer report is defined as. So in this case, wouldn't that be someone using an identification of you to obtain your consumer well, report? A1 says produces an identification document, authentication feature, or false identification document. So it is, it's not just saying identification. It's talking about identification document now. The authentic, authentic, authentication feature, perhaps, because, you know, they have to certify that they have a permissible purpose. Which they um, didn't. To get that report. Well, they're going to they're gonna have to. If they didn't, then now the CRA is at risk uh, for uh, producing that report, for furnishing it. But um, You're at 18 U.S.C. 1028-A1? 18 U.S.C. 1028-A1 says knowingly, knowingly and without lawful authority produces an identification document. Is that what yours says? Mine doesn't say identification document. It says a means of identification of another person. Okay. Let me look it up elsewhere. Where are you looking at it? I'm on Cornell Legal Institute. Where are you at? Uh, same. I'm going to put, I'm going to go into my, my uh, case text. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to get the same thing. Because um, I'm like, your son a little bit different from mine. Hey, hey D, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. a lab. Hey, well, so, well, go, yeah. go ahead, B. Yeah. I'm going to let you go. Do you think, B? Go ahead. Yeah, A1, Brian. Yeah, A1. This is uh, identification document, um, authentic, authentication feature, of identification document. Yeah, what well, well, A1. Yeah, what I'm looking at doesn't say that. It says, in general, whoever during and in relation to any felony violation enumerated in Section C knowingly transfers, possesses, or uses without lawful authority a means of identification of another person shall, in addition to the punishment provided for such felony, be sentenced to a term of imprisonment of two years. Oh, I know what you're looking at. You're looking at 1028A, A1. You see yes. the capital A after 1028? Yeah. So you're yeah, well, in a different section. That's oh, aggravated. Oh, my bad. My bad. That's bro. my problem. Bad. Go ahead. Yep. So under the possesses or uses without lawful authority. Um, 18 U.S. Code 102-8A, aggravated identity theft? Yeah, that's that's the section we're at. Okay. Whoever during in relation to any felony violation enumerated in this subsection C normally transfers, possesses, or uses without lawful authority a means of identification. Of, of another, another person. person. So under mm -hmm. means of identification of another person in Brian. Well, if you go under 1028 above it, it talks about identification. Um, this is not, let me see, actually, it should be, you can, it should be defined um, on yours if you're looking at. So are you talking about getting this item removed or sending these guys to jail? <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm about to say, man. Why are we worried about this? Are we the feds? No, Let's so send their ass to jail. Can look at it. <laughs> so it's not necessarily sending them to jail. But with this, you can prompt deletions from this. Right. Remember, the remedy means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Some right. people don't want to get paid. They just want the inquiries deleted. Yes. So yes. when you show your hand or when you say, what it is that they did and they did the violation nine times out of ten a lot of people are satisfied with that but right. what i'm trying to figure out from brian is would someone that pulled a report without permissible purpose mm -hmm. would they fall under 1028a as well I, I i can answer that i don't know i've never seen it um related to that 
especially when they already have a false pretense uh, code already within the uh, you know 1681 Q. So I, the identification, I, I don't know. I mean, simply, I don't know. And I wouldn't even reach there and think to reach there because you just it's already go ahead with Q. And get two years from what you know from what we have from in what the SCRA. Q, so. In Q, right? Gotcha. Yeah, it's like you know why look outside the box if you don't have to uh, when when all the tools you need are right there. But you know I, I see nothing wrong with where you're going um, with the identity identification. Um, the statute right above it talks about identification documents. Here, you just talk about means of identification. So, um, either way, it's a crime. So, I think the false pretense is is broader uh, okay. and, and, and more appropriate. Again, it's right there within the FCRA itself. But how, again, right. you have to be careful how you use that. I'm I'm going to listen to to how you use it. Now, I do have a, a inquiry a thousand dollar demand letter. I mm -hmm. do cite to this. I do cite to Q. It's within the letter, but it has to be done very carefully. But I, I'm going to listen to what you're suggesting. But you can incorporate all of this, but it does have to be careful. Anytime you're telling people they're violating a crime and then you're asking something from them, you have to do it in a very, very careful way. Otherwise, you commit the crime. Mm -hmm. It's called extortion. So, uh, but, but yeah. I'm here. I'm here for it. So, got you, got you, got you. All right. So the first place we want to look, and we just want to just break this down as we go. The first thing is permissible purpose. What 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 does this whole thing permissible purpose mean? What is it? Like, why can people use this section of the law to delete inquiries that were unjustly put on their consumer report because a dealership? Oh, better question. When I go to the dealership, Brian, and I give the dealership permission to run my reports and they get 15 other agencies that I didn't agree to. This is between me and sales guy Joe to give the dealership permission to run the reports. But they picked 30 other companies that they shot my report to. Is that justifiable enough that I did not give those 20 companies permissible purpose or not? Because I want to shed some light on this. It's a great area for interpretation for a lot of people. And I've heard it, and I would like to hear the correct way to look about it. So, well, you said you went to a dealership and made mm -hmm. an application? Yeah. And what does that mean? You, get, you sign something saying what? Um, they give you a paperwork that says we are going to do a credit check. They do the credit check, but then I get on my phone, bing, 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 15 inquiries. So my argument is, is consumer biased, and I, be, I believe it's the right argument. Uh, but this is a gray area where if you're on the other side, you, you know, there's a there's an issue of authorization. Authorization was given. Um, and a permissible purpose, if you go to 1681B, mm -hmm. A, two written instructions on the consumer. So that is a written instruction. It's also a transaction uh, application. However, it's one of those gray areas of law where you get permission, just like just like, uh, he, he, I want to give an example. Um, you can give, we can, we can agree that we're going to box. Okay? It's clear we're going to box. And so we, we're giving each other permission to get hit by each other. But we're not giving, them, but that permission does have a limit, even though it's not even implied. Same thing with that application. You you made an application for credit, but I, you know you didn't reasonably expect someone to pull it twenty times or fifteen times. Just like if we're boxing, you don't expect me to hit you after the bell, below the bell. You know, there's some unwritten rules, or to poke, or, or to 
poke your eyes out or something like that. Mm-hmm. So there's a limit to it. So um, my argument is, you know, what would a reasonable person expect when they're filling out an application for a car? It, you know, a, a lender or two or something like that. Really, you know, you just really want a lender with the best rate. You don't want mm-hmm. 15. So uh, the argument that I make is the person did not extend that consent to pull the report to all these many lenders that are not going to finance the car. So your question of is it correct for them to pull 15, I, I don't think so. They may argue, well, we have written consent to pull your report, shop you around, but that application doesn't say I'm going to shop you around to 15, 20, or two dozen people. Well, then, now, Brian, the argument isn't with the dealership, you know. The argument is with the person who pulled it. Well, they're operating as an agent. They're, I mean, it, of course, it's dictated by what you sign. They're acting as an agent. So or if I demand a permissible a purpose, so if I demand that they prove that they got the written expression, um, a, a written permission from me, it shouldn't be an issue them getting that from the dealership then, right? Where I gave permission. That's all they can produce. That's all, that's well, all they're going to they get. Cannot, what if they cannot produce it? Well, there's a big problem on their side, on, on, the, on the pulling entity side. Um, if they can't produce that written instruction, then they could try to say, I mean, there are other things. They could try to say that uh, you initiate a transaction with them, but with that dispute, this they is what's prove that. always coming back. You're always saying that, but they never provided the proof. So they'll say, oh, you gave XYZ dealership and, you know, we have an agreement with them. But where's my agreement with you or the paperwork showing that you were actually authorized or you gotten you had permissible purpose? Based on what you're saying, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Am I right or am I wrong? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you, you, you're gonna have to take that position because they're not gonna be able to prove that you gave written instruction for the CRA to release a report to them mm-hmm. or that you're trying to engage in a transaction with them. So people with these many inquiries from the car application, they should really fight to get all of the ones all, I think, except the one that actually uh, funded the car. Funded the, funded the car. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So the question is this. If they did not have permissible purpose and they cannot prove permission. They cannot purpose. prove it. Do we call it identity theft? That's where I'm going at. Right? Because technically, you know, under that code 1681, right? 1681Q and right. also 1028A. If you can't prove that there is permissible purpose that I authorized this transaction and you're saying that you did, but you can't prove it. Therefore you literally have a situation where my identity was used by someone who can't prove that they, that I gave them authorization to use my identity. Therefore that's identity theft. So yeah, that's my thought process. Nick is very rare that someone can finish my thought process. But that's my angle, Brian. Is that a wrong angle that I'm going at? If that's hey, the Brian, case, I'll restructure my in my inquiry deletion letter. But that's how my inquiry deletion letters are built. So, to so provide proof. One second asset. To uh, provide uh, uh, proof of the permissible purpose. If you cannot, you just stolen my identity because now you're saying that I gave you permission, which you cannot provide, that I even gave you permission to do it. And then by 15 U.S.C. 1681Q and 18 U.S.C. 1028A, is it justifiable to me now to say that you just stole my identity? Well, are you saying it to the CRA to get it? No, directly to the person. 
You're not the CRAs. I don't go to the CRAs. I go directly to the person. And in this case, it would be whoever pulled it, Midland, Capital, whoever did it, the, the, whoever did the pull that cannot prove permissible purpose. I can, yeah, I can totally see how you could say that they are, 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 are still in or misusing, abusing the identity, and more so um, using that as a false pretense to obtain that report. Mm-hmm. I think that's I think that's fine, uh, especially when they certainly can't prove the real uh, permission that they got from you to pull the report. It's a big problem for them. I mean, it's it's serious. It's a it's a big crime. Mm. I think I said wanted to chime in on this. Go ahead, my brother. Oh, so Brian, let me ask you this question, Brian. So basically, so many words you saying that all right, they pulled it fifteen times. For every time, well, what I've been reading up on, I've been I've been reading like uh, like people that have been like getting cars out the dealership. I'll go back over the paperwork. So basically, and I see that credit authorization form. Basically, what you're saying is, if I pull this credit 15 times, y'all supposed to have 15 authorizations, right or wrong? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that one authorization does not necessarily mean you can just pull until the cows come coming home. <laughs> right, right, right. What you're saying. What you're saying is a different story. I did not make I did not make the other argument that what what they need. I'm saying with what they have mm-hmm. is not right. Now, no, no, no. What I was no, what I was saying. I, I just got your What I was. But you was, asking, that, what I was saying is not what I'm saying. But but what's no, 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 no. I'm not saying what I'm what I'm asking is is that to so that mean is that do they need to be able to have 15 papers there? That's a credit authorization to be able to pull your credit 15 times from each bank that they're trying to use. Because well, uh, no, I think you I, I use an asset. So you're, you're. I think you're mentioning the dealership. I'm not going after the dealership. But See, if you're going to go that up. angle, if you're talking about the 15 times, that would apply to the dealership. See, I'm right, going right, to the person. So right, they right. wouldn't have a 15. They would only have one. One. So well, this, oh, the so dealership is just, the, is like I said, these are agents. The dealership doesn't pull the credit. Right. They're just, they're like, they, you, there's a finance department dealership you sit down and sign paperwork to. They're not the bank. Right. I'm just saying, you know, right. he's mentioning right. dealership. I understand what he's saying. To answer your question, no, I don't think it needs to be 15 pieces of paper. You can have one piece of paper that says, hey, you authorized me to pull your report up to 15 times to shop you around. Correct, correct. These, to these book of lenders that I have. They know what lenders that they're shopping to. Mm-hmm. That could be on one piece of paper. And that could be on one piece of paper. And if you sign, if Durain were to sign that saying, I uh, consent to you shop uh, these dozen lin- lenders looking at my credit report, so I can see if I can, which one has the best rate to qualify for my car. This will fix all of this problem, but they won't do that. that I mean, that, that's an easy fix. Right. That's one piece of paper, not 15. So my question is this, right? Because I know, Duran, you said, yo, I'm, I'm going after the person, right? And not necessarily the dealership. But if that person signed paperwork to work for the dealership and they're representing the dealership, um, that would make them a part of the corporation. No. At that point, right? No. Okay. Cause. So where where so where are you separating them to be in the natural person versus the question. corporation? So I'm not talking about the natural person. So person okay. means an individual, corporation, partnership, trust, estate, <laughs> government, governmental agency, and you get what I'm saying? Yes. So in this case, the corporation would apply. So let's say it is XYZ out of funding. Okay. I went to Mercedes. Mm-hmm. Mercedes ran it 15 times. XYZ auto financing is one of the company, one of the person, one of the corporation that pulled it. I okay. didn't get funding from XYZ out of finance, but XYZ out of finance is on my consumer report as a Hard inquiry. Got you. They didn't fu- they didn't fund me. So I'm writing directly to XYZ mm-hmm. Auto Finance. 
Mm -hmm. to prove your permissible purpose of why you have an inquiry on my report. Mm -hmm. That's how I go after it. I'm gotcha. not going to the CRAs. I'm not going to the dealership. I am going directly to the person. Gotcha. So let me ask you this question, Dave. Sense. So let me ask you a question, Dave. So you saying, so they poured it from 15 different places, right? So you saying you going straight after the, the person, which is the bank. So what bank you going at? The other 14? Or you All going 14 that did not fund okay. the loan. Now, 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 now I'm, I'm, when I talk, yo, yo, here, when I talk, I'm going to be talking. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking to other people. This is, this is stuff that people in the chat won't ask. You know what I'm saying? So I got to play like the dummy of part. You know, when I'm with you, I try to play like a dummy of a question that somebody w won't ask that they should ask. But baby, you basically saying you go on that them for the money because y'all pulled it and y'all ain't even uh, funny me at that rate. And I ain't um, never give authorization. I ain't give authorization to do it. So no, Brian, what if, right? Mm -hmm. You know I'm an investor. Nixon, in we're yeah. all investors here. You buy a lot mm -hmm. of properties. You just mm -hmm. went shopping for the Mercedes Benz um, AMG GLE 63, right? Or the G Wagon. And you got denied because of 15 inquiries that's on the report. And you got denied. Now, I want you to explain to me now, right? Where it says under civil. Can y'all still hear me? I'm transferring AirPods. Yeah, we get yeah. it, bro. Okay. Where civil liability says any person who willfully fails to comply with any requirement imposed under this subchapter with respect to any consumer is liable to that consumer in an amount equal to the sum up. So there's a few things that I'm looking at here, and this is how my mind works. In an amount equal to the sum up, my AMG GLE 63 coupe, that's 120000 right? Yes. It says any actual damage sustained by the consumer as a result of the failure or damages of not less than one hundred and not more than a thousand or B in the case of liability of a natural person, me for obtaining a consumer report under false pretenses. That's one knowingly without a permissible purpose. Permissible purpose. They're, they're not able to prove it now because I checked them. It says knowingly without a permissible purpose. So they do not have permissible purpose because they didn't produce that document. Under actual B, right? Damages. Yes, under B. So now, Brian, what does actual damages mean and in an amount equal to the sum of as it relates to sustained by the consumer as a result of their failure or $1,000, whichever is greater? Is it? Can you break that down for me, my brother? Yeah, so actual damages means what however you're damaged and uh, the dollars that they give you are really just for those people who can't necessarily articulate a damage it basically gives some minimum that they can fall back on it's not a limit it's a minimum that they could fall back on so and it's actually two sets of damages here when it involves you know impermissible you know, pull the report, but actual damage. So, if you're a real, if you're a real estate investor and you lose out of a deal, and that equity and whatever the case may be, I mean, that's the damage. Um, obviously, you have to prove that you know, but for those certain inquiries, you would have gotten the deal and realized that, you know. But you know, that's pretty easy when you know when you have a denial saying, hey, we denied you because you have too many inquiries. And there's a loss of credit opportunity, too, that has value. We mm. all know there's some banks out there that will not give you a credit card because you have too many inquiries, and they're going to give you a letter that says that. Mm -hmm. So that's your evidence. So people really got to start saving these denials and saving these issues or, or, or you know, or, you know, yeah. I mean, but, but that's an example. Actual damages is not capped. It could be a million dollars. It could be millions of dollars, or it can be hundreds of dollars. Um, you couldn't get in the, you know. So, 
this is where this is where if you're on this live and you you're you're not thinking about coming to my 3 day challenge this is where you need to come get the sauce the 3 day consumer the 3 day consumer law secrets remedy challenge that's going to go down on Monday the 7th of February 8 and 9 I'm telling y'all the link is at the bottom the link is in my bio y'all need to be there if we're talking about a situation where you received a letter regarding a judgment, Brian, for somebody on here right now that received a letter to show mm -hmm. up to court, can they contact you for a consultation? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You can go to my bio. Where, where, can, they, where, where can they find you? If someone on here right now needs to get in contact with a consumer lawyer, believe it or not, you guys are hard to find. Right. It, it, it's a rare area. But uh, you go to my bio, there's a button that says schedule a consultation. You'll, it'll take you right to my calendar. You pick a time and we'll be on the phone. We can video call or, or just audio call. So also, right now, right now, everybody on here, if you have a situation where you're, you got a letter to go to court and... Mm -hmm. You don't know what to do. I recommend getting a consultation. I highly recommend, listen, this is, I am not giving legal advice, but I highly recommend getting a consultation because you need the right people in your corner. And Absolutely. Brian has vetted my information many times. We've butthead on a lot of things. Brian showed me a lot of stuff. And if I was not credible, I doubt Brian would be on here with me right now if I was on here just talking pure nonsense. So if, if y'all have a situation and y'all really need that, 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 that consultation, a legal consultation, I urge you to hit my guy up in his DMs. I'm telling you, it is that, that, that consultation fee is worth that peace of mind for you to get the correct answer and what you need. Don't ask the wrong thing from the wrong person. You will not get a right answer. If you want to learn more about this consumer law stuff, I live, breathe, and eat consumer law. This is what I do. Y'all need to be on the challenge. For everybody that's getting value from this right now, I want to see some fire in the chat. Let me see some fire in the chat right now if somebody's getting value from what we're saying, because I don't want us to be on here just talking, losing our voice for no reason. If y'all right. are getting some value, let's see some fire in the chat. There you go. Y'all okay. better drop some fireballs in the chat. Yeah, I want to see some fire in the chat. <laughs> These dudes spitting bars tonight. Some of those fireballs, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey no answer. I want to ask a question to Brian. Hey, Brian, let me ask you a question. Dealing, mm -hmm. with, dealing with you being a consumer lawyer, right? Now, you know about Metro 2? Yeah. So is Metro 2 is, will be a good format to use in court as what's, which is called, basically, I'll look at it as like factual, factual disputing of the accuracy of a credit report? You say as a format to use in court? I'm saying, no, I'm, asking, I'm asking you, is, is, is Metro 2 good to use as in if you wanted to sue the credit bros in court? Uh, that question is a little shaky, but I'm going to try to clean it up. Uh, Metro 2 is just an industry standard. Correct. And, you know, so that alone is not, you know, it, I think what, what I'm sad to see is how people use it as if it's something standalone. It's not. Okay. So can you use it in court? Absolutely. Heck yeah. Factual disputing? Heck yeah. But it's not something that you just take. I got my metro, I got my metro two stuff, and I'm gonna go to court with because you haven't followed the metro two. It's more than that. It's just a standard that that guides right. what has to be done in the whole, uh, you know, consumer reporting agency furniture, you know, reporting, you know, Correct. data points. You see what I'm Correct. saying? Absolutely. Can it be used to answer your question? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I was, going, I was going to make sure. No, that's just my lane. That's why I asked. Yeah, but but 
but yeah, remember, like I said, don't just don't don't build on a one lane. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, 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 I definitely it's know that. It's used in conjunction with the FCRA, with you know, and all that. So it's it's more, but it it, it serves the purpose of creating it, the standard of what should have been input and done that wasn't. I think that's what point. actually makes this space so dope, Brian. Right? Is the fact that you know when you're able to study consumer law, when you're able to study all these different things in credit repair. When you start learning mm -hmm. things about Metro 2 and you get in a space where you start to master a lot of these things, you mm -hmm. can actually use a lot of these violations in conjunction with one another, mm -hmm. not only to remove items, but also to do things in court as well that could potentially make you some money mm -hmm. because of these types of violations, right? Okay. And, you know, mm -hmm. me and Durain was talking about this earlier. One of the most powerful words in the law is the word or. One of the most powerful words in the law is the word or. And a lot of times when we're getting started in this space, it's one of the things that we kind of breeze over and miss, right? And him and I was talking about this earlier when we were speaking about, hey, um, it's so funny that when you got online, we were talking about, hey, $1,000 per violation. And then I mentioned a thousand dollars, and he said a thousand dollars, or the damages that are greater, right? So we well, like we, we can't breeze past this. So then when we're constructing these letters, and when we start to learn about all these violations, I can put this violation in here, I can put that violation in here, I can put that violation in here. Because there's multiple violations, that that means I can take you to court for this, 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 and this. And then you come in with something left field. Now it's like you have no choice but to remove this and or settle. Mm -hmm. Right? To get out of this situation with your company. So this is the lawsuit I filed today. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Been waiting for this. This one... Yeah, right. <laughs> what does it say? Defendant without plaintiff's written consent or any permissible purpose under 15 U.S.C. 1681A1 through 6 knowingly and willfully requested and obtained from TransUnion mm -hmm. a copy Brian, I like, I like this letter, Brian. of consumer. Like this oh, this is not a letter. A <laughs> yeah, copy like of plaintiff's consumer report from TransUnion on, look at all of these dates. Oh, those, those are 28 different dates. Wow. Sheesh. Defendant's conduct proximately caused plaintiff costs, invasion of privacy, and distress. Also breach, uh, defendant's uh, conduct breached this duty under, uh, to plaintiff under the FCRA and a New York general business law. 350-BB. Hmm. Were, so, the, were these soft pulls? This is a soft case. This is a soft case. Got you. And so in this particular case, I'm suing for uh, invasion of privacy, negligence, negligence per se, in violation of the, um, of the FCRA. So, uh, Earlier we said it. I'm not sure if you were on yet, Nick, but Brian... Is there a difference when it comes to an authorized inquiry? Is there a difference between a hard inquiry and a soft inquiry? Is there a difference? With respect to what? With respect to not having permissible purpose. Yeah, you need permissible purpose for both. So there's no difference with respect to permissible purpose um, at all. So you need, you know, even though the soft ones don't affect the score, you still need the same permissible purpose to be able to um, make that kind of inquiry because you get, you still get the information. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, and that permissible purpose may be, you know, some of this pre-screen stuff, you know, firm credit offers. You still, all that mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. still has to be a legal reason that soft inquiry is on your report. And they need to tell you that, what that is, or cut you a check. Hmm. 
those that are looking, if you go to my profile, there's a there's my ebook. There's a a hard copy right here, but I have the ebook too that has uh, a inquiry deletion demand letter. One is for CRA, and the other one is for a company. And company one is asking for a thousand dollars, or they need to send you some real good proof of why they're in your profile. So grab that mm. in my profile, Four Steps to Better Credit ebook. You have immediate access tonight. Another letter tomorrow. I don't. I don't think they heard you, Brian. I don't think they heard you. <laughs> yeah, tell them again, Bay. Yeah, you I, gotta I, yell I, a little I don't bit. Think, I don't think you gotta yell a little you. bit, Bay. So you you go to my. Let me see if I pull up. You go to my. Um, go to my profile. Read a, a, go to my, read a book. Read a book, Bay. Let them see the book. The front of the book. Any on Amazon. All right. So this is on Amazon. Okay. If you get the hard copy, just uh, screenshot me in my in my DM, and I'll give you free access to the electronic uh, copy and bonus letters tonight. So you can grab this on Amazon, twenty five bucks. Screenshot your your receipt. And give me your name and email, and I'll and I'll um, I'll add you to the ebook and and bonus letters tonight. It actually has a thousand dollar demand inquiry deletion letter mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that will um, that will allow you to be able to demand that money. And so, if you're on my profile, you can click here to get the ebook access or the paperback. If you get the paperback and screenshot me, I'll add you to the ebook so you can immediately start reading and have access to the letters. Uh, it's over a dozen letters, but one of them is an inquiry deletion letter. Um, and then I got something special. So once you sign up for the range challenge, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna drop in and give y'all a special gift. So <laughs> yeah. let's go. Nick, I remember you saying you're going to pop up on the challenge too, Nick. Or did I hear wrong? But you know what, Nick? You didn't even introduce yourself and tell the people who you are and what you do. What's right. going so on, I man? Think, yeah, Pete, I think people need to know who you are, bro. Right. All right, guys. Uh, I'm Nicholas Minter. Um, I built my entire film business on credit. Like a lot of people, um, you know, I was that guy that did everything they were supposed to do. Um, you know, I went to college like everybody else did. I got a whole bunch of student loans. And what happened? When I got out of school, $200,000 worth of student loan debt and couldn't find a job. So, you know, my back was against the wall. I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. I've never had a nine to five. But the main thing that I learned in terms of the value of credit was leverage. So I was able to build my entire film company from leveraging my credit. And since then, I've been able to teach and mentor thousands of people how to do it. Uh, I became a serial entrepreneur. I've worked on a lot of productions. One of the most uh, recent ones you guys may know might be Real Housewives of Atlanta or Cobra Kai. Um, and I've also been able to leverage my credit to start rental car companies, my automated Amazon store, different mm -hmm. types of mentorships, mm -hmm. live events. Um, yep. And the list goes on and on and on and on. And even recently, I've been able to launch a software company uh, with a few of my friends called Connectedly, helping you guys make $10,000 a day or more by launching digital products. So, so bro, that's on, me in a nutshell. Nick, hold on. <laughs> Y'all don't know that Nicholas Boy. is one of the founders for Connectedly. Y'all don't even wow. know that. When I tell y'all that we're bringing value, Connectedly is right there with ClickFunnels. For those of you who know what mm. ClickFunnels is, Connectedly is right there. Connectedly is right. You're, this is one of the founders right here for Connectedly. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So when I say, like, we're bringing the heat, this is no play play thing. Like, we're talking about real people, real entrepreneurs that are doing this every day that started out just like you. I remember when I had bad credit. I remember when I got denied. I've gotten denied so many times, bro. 
I needed a co-signer. I was paying on a 2007 Nissan Altima 18.99%. Damn. With, with 75,000 miles on it. Mm. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you see that Damn. face? That part. <laughs> like, when you don't know about credit, they take advantage of you. This right. is why y'all got to be in the room. Listen, for everybody on here that's going to join my three-day Consumer Law Secrets Remedy Challenge, let me see y'all put me in the chat. I want to know that you're all in. Let me see all in. Let me hey, see. Hey, Durain. If y'all, Dur bro, let's go. Durain, one thing I want to say. There's only one time I like seeing there's only one time I like to see myself get denied. Right? There's only one time I like to see myself get denied. And that's when I have a solid credit report. When it's after midnight. When I've cut my VPN on to Los <laughs> Angeles or California. Because on average, they have the, the highest average credit score. Really? And I open all of these windows oh. on my computer. I see where this in is In a going. private I like browser. This. I like and this. I apply for American Express credit cards back to back to back to back to back until oh. I get denied. Then once I get denied, then I stop applying for Amex credit cards. But I'm going to get as many as I can back to back before the computer catches it. That's the only time I like getting denied. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think they comprehend what just happened. I want you to repeat. I don't think they caught that one. I think that went over. I don't think they caught it. I know they. I know they didn't catch it. They ain't got their gloves with them. Right. Hey, what they say? No takers are money makers. He just dropped the takers. He just dropped the gym. No takers are money makers. We don't like to repeat ourselves. Time again. We don't like to repeat ourselves. All all I'm all I'm gonna say is this: Listen, if y'all not on the calls that I'm on, you tripping. If y'all not on the calls, these gentlemen on, you tripping. I'm going to say it one tripping. more time. I'm going to mm. say it one more time for y'all. Right? Nick, I got to no. show y'all something. I got to show y'all something. I got to no. show y'all something. She said after a certain time, it's a glitch in their system. All right, I'm going to give it to y'all one more time. Number one, have a solid credit report. You guys already know what your credit report need to look like. Mm -hmm. Number That's two, yep. you're going to reply after midnight. EST, right? Uh oh. Oh, we go. We going deeper. All right, hold on. <laughs> then, af then after that, what you're gonna do? Get your VPN set up. Set it for California, right? Then after that, you're gonna open up multiple browsers in incognito mode on Google Chrome. Make sure that your computer browser is set to autofill with your information, mm. right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to American Express, right? And when you go to American Express, you're going to open up all the credit cards that you want to apply for. All of fill them and apply back to back to back to back to back to back until you get back, denied. Back to back to back to back to back to back. And what I want y'all to do, since y'all on here right now, Let's for go. every approval that you get, I want you to tag me. And these other three gentlemen, after you get those approvals. That's it. Mm. That's it and that's all. That's it and that's all. It, he ain't repeating it. My man that's just okay. gave y'all a whole sequence. Yeah, and y'all didn't even know. Like, they don't know that information like this costs $5,000 or more. Because oh, we're on no. this live and we're talking. This, like, this is regular conversation. And when I was on, when I, like, no, so sometimes hey, hey, don't laugh, again, guys. No, say it again, dude. No, say no, it again. No, dude. really. Sometimes I get it mixed up. So the other day I was on David Shan's podcast with, 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 um, with Donnie Higgins. And they were interviewing me, right? And because I live, breathe, and eat consumer law, it's normal conversation for me. And they pointed out to me when I was speaking to them that, bro, what's normal for you is not normal for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I've been overlooking the fact that 
because I'll text Brian, I'll talk to Nicholas, I'll hit um, assets up in the DMs and talk shop. This is our normal conversations. People that I deal with on every day, this is normal for me. And I merge that I think that people know what I'm talking about and they don't. No. So now I'm in the process now of retraining of how to connect with someone, not at the level that I'm at, but at the level that they're at so they know what I'm saying so I can start having them speak consumer law. Dude, for this longest time, I just think, I'm like, how do you not know this? Not knowing that once upon a time, I didn't know it. But because it's become so normal for me, they'll say, hey, Brian, what do you think about 15 U.S.C. 1681N? He knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But yeah. let me go say this to somebody on the street. They're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Right. And I really now have to own the fact that I need clearer message. A lot of people won't be vulnerable on a call and say, yo, you know, I got some things I got to work on, but I'm completely transparent, bro. I'm not hiding nothing from nobody. It got to a point where, like, it's like this. Consumer law is like this. Like, give me a law right now. I'll flip it off the top of my head because I just study the thing so much. And you are what you consume. Fact. Like, you literally are the things you consume. So now I have to retrain on getting that messaging right. So not only can I serve y'all better, that y'all will get a full comprehension of what I'm saying. So I want y'all to know that I'm a work in process. Absolutely. I'm going to get you those deletions. That is facts. Once you get in this damn mentorship. Even Durant, you know one thing I learned, bro? One, one thing I learned about this teaching space, right? Because I've taught a lot of different things in a lot of different areas from, you know, not just in the credit space, but teaching people, you know, how to read music, how to write music um, from, you know, a lot of different things in the art world to mm. just, just, just management stuff and even working with VAs. When you explain things and you're teaching them, number one, there's two people that learn, right? The first person that learns is the person that you're teaching. And the second person that learns is the person that is teaching. And you're having that experience right now, which is absolutely amazing. And I commend you for recognizing it. But another thing that I ended up learning is, is when you're sharing information and people are receiving it for the first time, we have to share the information with them as if we're sharing it with the third grader. Because many of the things that they're learning, they're going to hear it for the first time. Mm -hmm. And even when I speak to my trucking friends about trucking, I know absolutely nothing about trucking. We can talk funding all day and I could break it down. There are circles around a lot of people. But when they start talking to me about trucking and insurance and all of these codes and this, that, and the third, I'm like, yo, bro, you're going to have to, you're going to have to break this down hot wheel style for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I know nothing about it. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, as we continue to, empower our community and as we continue to change the world and help and inspire people we have to remember through all the knowledge that we gain and how sophisticated and detailed that it can be when we're giving something to them introductory we need to break it down in the introductory level to help them build that foundation of learning so they can take it to the next level most definitely most definitely Hey, Brian, we got a few people that purchased your book. For hey. y'all that just purchased Brian's book right now, let me see y'all put all in in the chat. If you just all purchased books. Brian's book, I want to see y'all put all in in the chat. Awesome, awesome. Hey, hey man, they yeah. better get they better get that book, they, Brian, listen, they know they what's up, it. bro. <laughs> they better get that awesome. book. I, I tell them all the time, Brian, they, they got to start following information and not people. Y'all log in and pull up that... Um, that anchor demand letter and use it tomorrow. 
It, it's a powerful letter. Yeah, pop, that's on pop. I got all. All right, got all the fine stuff. I bought that stuff. Like that. Well, that's mm-hmm. Yeah, awesome. I appreciate Brain, it, y'all. What, Brain, what you sipping, man? That's you oh, sipping that fifteen USC. I'm, I'm I'm finishing this whole <laughs> bottle of wine on the live, bro. It's a whole <laughs> bottle I just opened. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish that whole bottle before this live is done. I'm gonna be lit. USC? He said that FDC, that FDCPA, one thousand. One thousand. Read that up. Now. Now, so that's the other thing. A lot of people don't know that debt collection rules are changed, especially credit repair organizations or credit repair um, specialists, expert, whatever they want to call it, are not tuned into the fact that debt collection rules have changed. Brian, as a consumer lawyer, based on the changes that you've seen, I've read it many times, Nick's read it, Assets read it. If y'all are not reading it, I know for a fact anybody on here, because I've spoken about it so much, y'all know what's going on. Brian, how does that affect people now with collections? Because I know a few people that a collection account popped up on their report after November 30th. And they did not get a correspondence. Mm, that's a violation. Yeah, everything, you know, it's changing. And that's a good thing and bad thing, but you have to keep up with these changes. Things have changed. So the days of uh, just learning about a collection by popping up in your report, that's the new red flag that should trigger uh, some action. You know, it, it, it's a violation now. It used to be. They can just park these debts on your credit report and you find out when you find out about it. They can't do that anymore. So a lot has changed. And it's very, and here's the thing, it's very intricate. I mean, Regulation F, I mean, it's just, it's not something you can just sort of take a look at. No, okay. No, it is a lot of information. It's, it's so much information that, that the CFPB has put it on their site with interpretations. Exactly. You know, to go along with it because it, it's not like you can just read it. And I'm glad they put that out there because I know a lot of people read stuff and do their own interpretation. But it's, it's a lot. And it for is. those of you that are new, you're going to need training and mentorship like the three day uh, remedy conference that Duran is doing. All that stuff, you, you have to take advantage of that whenever it happens because. I don't know if if you all recall back when you were in school, you ever miss a day of school and come back and you ask someone what what happened? It's not the same. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> you are. You know how you feel? Lost AF. Lost. So when Durain puts on these three days of education, there's no better way than to get educated is than to get instructed. So. You know, so take advantage of it. When I do it or anyone else of us do it, you really want to tap in because that live training can't be replaced with self-study. And Durain has, you know, do for self, which is great, but when he when, when he comes up with an opportunity for you to to learn yourself with him, jump on it. Jump on it. It's a huge difference than self-teaching and reading stuff and thinking you know what you're reading and someone going over it with you line by line and giving you some tools and how to use the tools. Um, you can go to Home Depot all day and buy all the tools you want. If you know how to use them, it's not going to do any good. Hey, hey D, you're going to start calling this. this, this we're going to call the next, uh, the next uh, live cheaper than student loans. So the link for the challenge is posted here. But if you go to my Instagram, inside my the link in my Instagram has the um the where you join the challenge. Um, gen, um VIP is only two ninety seven, and general admission is ninety seven. VIP, this type of conversation, 
me bringing on special guests, like, I'm not sure what day Brian is going to show up or, <laughs> at, like, you just don't know who's going to be in the VIP session. General admission, you're not going to get that. The VIP session is going to be different. I'm going to have different people in the VIP. Not only that, when I talk about you can get a home free and clear, you can get a car free and clear, you can delete any account. Brian loves, I think Brian is the only person that loves repossession as much as I do. Right? We're, we're not even talking about bankruptcy. Furthermore, collections. Collections is like butter. But <laughs> let's not take away from the fact that a charge-off is not even supposed to be on your account. And now I'm going to get a lot of people that say, oh, Doreen, what do you mean a charge-off is not supposed to be on there? Brian, is income any part of the consumer report? Does your income get reported on the consumer report? No, no. So if IRS says a charge off is gross or ordinary income and you need to file it with your taxes, is that income or is that debt? Well, if it's truly charged off, it should be attributed to you as income. So if it's income and we know that income doesn't get reported on the consumer report. How is it titled a charge off collection? That's number one. How is it a charge off if the IRS says you need to file it as gross or ordinary income? Doesn't that make under 15 USC 1681S2 prohibitation for reporting inaccurate information for knowing or have reason to know that this is defined by the IRS as income, but it's being reported as a debt. So I'm a little confused as to why a charge-off is even on a consumer report when income does not get reported. And by definition from the IRS, a charge-off or canceled debt is gross or ordinary income. I got one for you too, Dave. Uh, you said you're doing a three-day challenge. I'm going to come in there, right? And my aunt worked for the IRS. And I'm going to let you go ahead and pick her brain because I already picked her brain. But I'm going to let you pick her brain and she's going to break it all down. Because all she do with is dealing with people's taxes all day long the IRS. She worked right for the IRS. She's going to break down the whole 1099C for you. Wow. That's huge. I got it. You ain't got to worry about that. I got her in the pocket. Mm. I just want me to. I can get the debt collector on there. I got a debt collector. I've been collecting debt for over 11 years. He had four companies, and he's going to break. I can get him to break it down uh, how he collect that and how we can get things removed off the debt collector side. Whatever they want, we can bring it inside of mentorship. We can make it happen. Tell him to come with his checkbook. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, 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 hey. That's going to be good because I know y'all going to go back and forth too, baby. I already know that. <laughs> so, what I'm getting at for everyone that's on here, if you. Everything, there's nothing here that I am making up. Brian's here. I tell you, Brian will call me out on my bullshit. If there's <laughs> anything on here, assets will call me out on my bullshit. If there is anything on here that I'm saying that is not true, gentlemen, correct me and let me know. But, and that's, 16, that's 1635, right? The decision. I was reading that all yesterday. So me and you had the same like minds. That joint is that joint dangerous. The, the Truth in Lending Act is the most powerful, in, in my opinion, everybody is different, but to me, Truth in Lending is the most powerful act because Truth in Lending is the only law that says you can have anything for free. Well, not really anything no, for no, free. No, say, no, say, they say it that way because it's true. Because banks are broke, 12 USC, 12, 12 USC, 1431, banks are borrowers. Let's be real. Go ahead. Keep going. So truth in lending <laughs> says, now I'm, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that for the three-day challenge. I'm not right. giving away the truth in lending sauce tonight. Y'all right. got to come to the challenge. If y'all want to know right. how to get a car for free, 
and how to get your house. Y'all, mm -hmm. that's challenge information. And that's VIP information. Right. Oh, man. This eyelash be going into my eye. There's a, there's a lot of things out there. And the point I'm getting at is, beloved, who are you getting your information from? Mm -hmm. Is the information that you're getting fact-checkable? Can whoever gives you your information, I'm almost positive 100%. Any information Brian gives you, Brian can either show you the case law or the law that reference what he's saying. For asset, I am positive because I've seen it. The reference of the law that he's speaking to, but not only that, where you can go and find the information. If anyone is scared to tell you where that information is coming from, I think, and this is not a, this is not a factual statement, but I think they don't know enough or they are operating in a scarcity mentality where if you found out where the information is from, I don't know what they think is going to happen. Right. You know, I, you know, I look, tell them, uh, they, you know, I, I, I post up, I post up inside your group <laughs> without posting it. I check, right? From Trans tell me, yeah, tell me about that check. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you about that check. <laughs> so I, 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 what I did was, uh, I had sent them some paperwork that they needed to know. I put them on notice about, uh, that's off the X and Bryant. I use Metro 2. And I basically was going at them about their reporting because, you know, Metro 2 is the concept. Like, what well, we use it for, we call it Metro 2 because we use their, their uh, 42, 426 segments. So I had broke it down, and I also sent it to one of the addresses. You know, the current the brothers got like 12 different addresses, 7 to 12 different addresses. So I sent it to a particular address. And there's no way a check came back for twenty six hundred. Oh, they're they're in inaccurate reporting. And I just put them on notice with some laws, and I actually, you know, my software put the actual credit report inside of the actual uh, challenge. So, and they removed their accounts. So, so imagine, so imagine being on them telling you uh, they, that I got American Express cards and they're not reporting. So mm. they told me I can't use my identity IQ for Metro Two. Why would you want to use Identity IQ when you can go on annualcreditreport.com and get the direct report from there? Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to start suing, you want to deal with Brian, you definitely want to use them, some type of reports or the disclosure file from the actual credit even Yeah, start, you don't want no, Even start no, working from the CRA. Yeah. Even start working. It's not you need work. it to come directly from them. Don't use a third party. Because now, okay, I don't know where that third party got that information from. That gives room for reasonable doubt. Shit. Is he sneaking? Get sure. the information directly from the source. You are entitled to it. Get it. So, so Brian, so the, the mm -hmm. debt collector told me this. This is what he told me. And this was mm -hmm. like a crazy gem. He said... It's easier for them to collect a debt than to report a debt. I know why it's harder for them to report the debt, but he says it's easier for them to collect a debt than to report a debt. Okay. They can go over their head. They can go over their head all they want, but it's easier to collect a debt. I mean, it's easier for them to get on the phone or see a letter in the mail than they make you pay it than to report it to the CRAs. Process, because right? it's uh, so many steps that you got to mm -hmm. take as a debt collector to even to be able to even collect the debt or even report the debt. So mm -hmm. that's a privilege just to be able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And I send a certified mail. It, it, it start getting into it. Right? I ain't gonna do that today because DB wants to say they got to do what they got to buy what. <laughs> Y'all need to come on the challenge. But <laughs> last week I was on here. And we ran the sax play. Hello. We uh -oh. ran the sax play last week. 3,000, 750. Got two of them. Good night. Mm. Different addresses. So I want to give a shout out to my guy, Trapper's Way Out and Cheetah 3. I got my sax card. I'm going to say this, fellas. Play. If you got if you got a lady, Hold on, you want to get her something nice oh, for V-Day, you might be taking her to dinner. 
hey, there go another fourteen hundred dollars right there right on Saturday. There. Baby. You know Good what I'm saying? <laughs> you buy my ebook, my uh my manufacturing spinning book is going to tell you all the plays. Hey, you you going you going to liquidate the credit card? We going to teach you how to do it. Use the site to get the cash back. Go right to the site, get ten percent cash back. Hello. Oh, I got another play for you though. Let's get it. Let's go. Did y'all know that y'all can manufacture spin cryptocurrency? What are you saying, bro? Ooh, 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 but what are you ooh, saying ooh. to me right now? Did you know? That you can MS crypto and not just credit cards. Let's I do go, not uh, know that. That's dope. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. They go to Jeff. All right, so let's talk about how you get 2%, 3%, 4%, mm. even 10%, and maybe even 20% crypto back, not cash back, crypto back. Now think about this. Hold on. I those of you that are trading, second, and for those of you that are thinking about trading, what'd you say, boss? I said one second. I see somebody that has run the play in here. I wonder if they know that I own that domain, run the play. <laughs> run the play dot com? <laughs> yeah, I own run the play. Would you believe me if I told you that I own run the play dot eth in crypto? Ooh. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> Tell me that MS play, though. All right. So here's the thing, right? Mm. When we're talking about crypto back 2%, 3%, even 10 or even 20 crypto back, there are certain cards that allow us to get crypto back, right? Mm -hmm. One of them being the crypto.com card, which is mm. one. Uh, one of them being one of the, uh, the BlockFi card, which is another, depending on what you get. Another one being the Coinbase card, right? So anytime you have cryptocurrency or you have USDT and you go and you swipe these cards, they will give you crypto back, right? Mm. Now, how do we get to 5%? 10%, 20%. How do we take these crypto cards and compound them with other types of assets, websites, and or apps and use them together in order to maximize our crypto back the same way that we use credit cards? So, for mm -hmm. example, in the credit card space, when we MS, we might end up using a credit card, whether it's on the personal or business side, within a specific category to MS with. That might give us anywhere between one to five percent cash back, plus the website that we use that already gives us the cash back. Then we run the MS play, and now we stacked it. You can right. do stacking with the cryptocurrency cards as well. So this would be mm. crypto manufactured spending, right? Mm. So the equivalent <laughs> to Rakuten or Rakuten is an app called Storm. There's an app called Storm X. That is the equivalent to Rakuten, right? Mm -hmm. The same way that we have our approach on Rakuten, when we MS, is the same approach that we're going to have on Storm I get X, it. I right? get it. You get it, right? I get it now. So what you're going to do is, Instead of using your credit card to make the purchase, you're going to use your crypto card that gives you crypto cash back on the crypto website that gives you crypto oh. cash back. Now you stack cryptocurrency. You take each of the currencies that you were free, you, you received. You look for the dip in the market. As we can see, Ethereum and Bitcoin are both half off. You transfer it into that currency, and now you just got income or crypto for free, half off. That's going to appreciate over time because... The market is in a retrace, and we know once it hits support, it will go back to the previous resistance to the all-time high. So, Nick, I'm coming to Atlanta this weekend, and I don't have my crypto wallet set up, and I would love some help getting this set up because I need to get me at least two or three Ethereum 
and have that just stewing. Um, Brian, are you accepting yep. crypto for consultation yet? No. How do I do that? I think you need to talk to my guy, Nick. I need to fast. So, so y'all need to connect because Brian, you are going forward also doing consultation in crypto. Brian takes Ethereum, Bitcoin, Dogecoin. Let's go, Brian. Let's go. Yes. Hey, That's Brian. It. What's the name, of, Brian? What's the name of your business? Brian Ponder, LLP. All right. So look, you may have that website, that dot com, right? Mm -hmm. You could you could also hold on, get Nick. hold on hold on Nick Brian go and go daddy right now before Nick finishes his statement I need you on go daddy Brian this is absolutely important and let me know mm -hmm. before you go there and I want you to type in what your business is before the dot com and then Nick I'm gonna want you to finish your statement okay, okay. so what well, let's let's wait until Brian does that first. What it is? Right. Yeah, right. so in GoDaddy, <laughs> in GoDaddy, you're going to type out what your business name is without the dot .com. Don't put the dot .com inside okay, of GoDaddy. Go ahead, Nick. Finish your statement. All right. Okay. So anytime we get our domain names, we got to understand that our domain names are a type of digital real estate. That's the first type of digital real estate that most of us may know about. Other types of digital real estate includes our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even TikTok, right? But now as we get into the crypto space, that digital real estate has expanded. Not only in the world of crypto and NFTs, but also us being able to go into the metaverse and purchase land, right? Also, okay. um, when it comes to our digital domain names right so now what we can do is we can actually instead of getting a dot com we can get a dot eth this could be our wallet address this is an ens domain right and shout out to my boy cam next level he put me on to this when i was in vegas last year so the thing about it is, is yes i can have nicholasmentor.com but we know we're moving into a decentralized world so instead of me using merchants like stripe Instead of me using merchants like PayPal and all the other ones that get chargebacks, what happens if someone pays me in crypto and it's on a public ledger on the blockchain? Now, they're able to send me the money faster without any additional hidden fees, and there are no chargebacks. Hello. Ooh, now, ooh. now, this ooh. ENS domain is going to be a representation or an abbreviation of my public wallet address. So when we're looking at cryptocurrency public wallet addresses, it's nothing but ones and zeros and numbers and letters. So it might be 098AB Alpha Beta Zeta 297. You can't remember that, right? Now, if I'm branding, I want to use something that's catchy, that's easy to remember. So if mm -hmm. I'm talking to Duran and Duran says, hey, hey, man, I want to uh, I want to refer somebody to your credit repair business or, hey, man, I want to refer somebody to your credit mentorship, but they want to pay you in crypto. Well, I don't have to say go to NicholasMentor.com, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to pay me in crypto, I'm not going to give you the long wallet address. I'm going to tell you to go to financialliteracy.eth. Now they can open up their crypto wallet and send me Ethereum from their crypto wallet directly from financialliteracy.eth. Mm. You see what I'm That's saying? Whole, That's a whole game, bro. I don't think a lot of people are ready for what wow. you just said. So ETH is the... That's the ENS domain. So it's like a dot .com, it's like a dot .org, but it's the crypto version of that. Mm. So it's a wallet address that people can pay me in. I can I can receive all types of cryptocurrencies on that. It's a, it's an ERC20 wallet. In addition to that, all of the NFTs that I want to buy and that I want to store, it can literally be there, right? 
So now, because we have digital, um, because we have digital real estate, we can literally park our assets there. Now, this is what makes it really cool. A lot of people back in the day, in terms of like Web 1.0 1, 1 and Web 2.0, they would buy these domain names on GoDaddy and, uh, and all these other places. They would hold on to them and then they would sell them in the future mm -hmm. for money, right? Very true. Think about if you had love.com, how much money you could get for love.com. Oh, my God. Right? Too much. Think about that. You know, uh, you know, uh, United States, that, like all of these things that people will pay, credit.com, right? Well, guess what? We've got digital real estate now. So now I can go do the same thing in the crypto world and sell that too in the future because it's going to be valuable, mm -hmm. especially when we see people buying NFTs for millions of dollars, land in sandbox for a minimum of $10,000, $10, right? It's the way of the world now. So the it's digital the real world. estate specifically is the ETH domains or something else? So, so when I'm talking about uh, digital real estate, mm -hmm. a ENS domain is just a type of digital real estate. There's all types of digital real estate. Like I was saying, the ones that we might be most familiar with is the dot coms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because we have different things in cryptocurrency, it has evolved into other areas now. Mm -hmm. I, I see what you. I see what's going on now, Nick. Okay. You see, see what's going on? I see. What's they going said. On they said. Uh, where can we? Where can we buy them at? Man, you gotta join the master class. <laughs> you gotta right, get right, in. Right. You gotta so, join the master class to get the sauce. Yo, Nick, <laughs> you're gonna you're, you're gonna come in one of these day on the class. I'm not sure what day. So we're gonna have a bonus day for the VIPs. And for the VIPs, no, it's too much clear. For the VIPs, what we're going to do is only VIPs. This is only a VIP thing. So if you haven't gotten VIP to the challenge, y'all are bugging. Nick's going to come in. Asset's going to come in. Brian's going to come in. Mm -hmm. The writer rescission play, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to tell y'all from my studies, the concept behind the right of rescission then you're gonna get the play from brian and i really want y'all to lock brian's email in brian at brianponder.com the information that you're gonna learn on the challenge you're gonna need brian's help to execute it you can go pro se but i highly recommend gaining at least a consultation from brian with the information that I'm about to give you. I'm going to give you a six-figure play, and I'm going to give you a seven-figure play. I'm going to give you both on the truth in lending. And when I give you this information, the link is pinned right down there for the challenge. If you go into the link in my bio, you can also find the link for the challenge. You will need Brian's help to get the bag. Nick is going to give you the game that he, like, bro, you know, I think I'm just talking too much. I don't think they get what I'm saying. Like, if y'all are getting what I'm saying right now, I want y'all to put me in the chat because we're turning up <laughs> assets. I want you to break down manufacturer spending. There's so many things that a lot of people don't know. And when I tell you all that a late payment is illegal, a late payment is illegal on your consumer report. I can challenge anybody on this. Pull up on me. Anybody, that, anybody on this live right now that do not believe me that a late payment is illegal on your consumer report, I want you all to, to really let me know. Who, if you don't believe me,
put don't believe in the chat. If you do not believe me when I say a late payment is illegal, put I don't believe in the chat. Better yet, if y'all want me to prove that a late payment is illegal, I want y'all to say, prove it in the chat. Let me see, prove it. Let me see, prove it in the chat right now. If y'all want me to show y'all that a late payment is illegal and we have a consumer lawyer here that can either yay or nay what I'm saying. And we got Nick and we got assets. Believe without proof. Believe is without proof. <laughs> oh man, I'm seeing a lot of proof. It. They think, wow. Y'all don't believe it. Prove 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 it. Ad, I'm gonna tell you something right now. If I see a late payment to my credit report, I get the whole account deleted. Well, you can keep the account if you want no, I, to. I delete. I delete the whole account. <laughs> yeah. I don't got nothing to report. <laughs> I don't got nothing to report. I wanted them to. Man, they want me to prove. I right, goddamn. See, I like putting my money where my mouth is. That's what I'm so talking if, about. So if I can't prove that a late payment is illegal right now, I'll... Let's see. You want a discount, son? Give him a discount on something. I'm not... Number one, I'm not taking you up on that bet, number one. I'm not doing that. No. Nope. Does anybody want to take me up? Brian, Nick, Assets, does anybody want to take me up on a late payment being illegal. That's, I mean, that's kind of hard for me because we, we both on like, the same law. <laughs> so I'm like, nope, you can, nope. Go, you, can you, can you can go around there and play. I mean, nope, it's really, it's really I am not play. doing that. <laughs> I mean, almost everything is illegal, but... I know a little something about the law. Look, look at it again, uh, B. B. Say one more time. Everything really illegal. Bro, bro. You know, I'm over everything illegal. I ain't about to do it. I know a little something about the law. That's you know who you are. That's you know who you are. Everything really illegal. Bro, bro. <laughs> that man got books behind him. Mm -hmm. now, actually, this, this is my wallpaper. My books are over here. I need to change it. But I got told that I need to change it by one of my mentors. How do you switch this damn camera? All my books are over here. Like, people think I'd be capping. Like, I got close to 600 books. They're just right. on the wall over on the other side. So I need to rearrange my office. See, my office needs to look like Brian. Brian has one of the most fascinating libraries you will ever see. And I got the chance of seeing that library in person. And I'm telling you all, that's my goals for my library. Hey, so let me ask you a question. I'm going to fire out some laws and let me see if this is the law that you're talking about. All right, Can we do go. that? Ooh. All right. Are you talking about 15 U.S.C. 1692G? No, that's for validation of debt. Okay. Are you talking about uh, 15 U.S.C. 1666B? Yes, but that's part of it. Okay, B Bill Air. Yeah, B2 to be exact. B2 to be exact. BA. Uh, are, are, you, are you talking about uh, 1605 Apple? That is also a part of it. You can use that. The sum of all okay. charges. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to add some to your arsenal. 15 USC. 1681A, number two, under exclusions. You get in your arsenal. <laughs> so let's get it. Except as provided in paragraph three, the term consumer report. Your yes. consumer report does not include A1, report containing information solely as to transactions or experiences between the consumer, the natural person, and the person, the corporation, making the report. 
Where are you reading? Mr. Brian L. Ponder. Where are you Congress reading? Congress says, 15 U.S.C., 1681A, number two. So under definitions and rules of construct, 1681A, I go to number two, exclusions, and Congress tells me, they say the rain, exclusions, except as provided in paragraph three, the term mm -hmm. consumer report, and Congress tells you what your consumer report is. In general, the term consumer report means any written, oral, or other communication of any information by a consumer reporting agency bearing on a consumer's credit worthiness, credit standing, credit capacity, character, general reputation, personal characteristics, or mode of living, which is used or expected to be used in collect or collected in whole or in part for the purpose of serving as a factor in establishing the consumer's eligibility for A, credit or insurance to be used primarily for personal, family, or household purposes, B, employment purposes, or C, any other purpose authorized under this title. Now, by definition, isn't that the report that Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, Lexus, isn't that what they produce? By definition, Mr. Ponder. Which one are you referring to? Which, the which consumer one? report. No, I mean, that's, um, and by the way, that's D2, not A2. It's, D, it's A, D2. But no, no, no. It's, so where I'm at is 15 U.S.C. 1681A, under definitions and rules of construct. Then at number two, right here, because there's one, there's one. D2. Okay, so, okay, all right, so D2. So there's D1 and there's D2. My correction, Mr. Ponder. So under D2, except as otherwise provided, the term consumer report does not include. And Congress just told us what our consumer report is. Um, yes or no? Is that a correct statement? Well, which one? You mean you were reading everything. Everything that you read obviously is correct. It's the law. But what was your, uh, which one are you referring to of those sections that you read that supports what you were? So D2, D2 says, except as provided in paragraph that. three, the term okay. consumer report does not include. And Congress gives the definition of the uh, consumer report. Got it. So we know what the consumer report means. And then A1 says report containing information mm -hmm. solely as to transactions or experiences between the consumer. And the definition of a consumer means an individual. And then when we go to the definition of the person, it says the term person means any individual, partnership, corporation, trust, estate, cooperative, association, government or governmental subdivision or agency or other entity. And Congress okay. says the consumer report does not in include transaction. So if the consumer report does not include a consumer's transaction where does a late payment come from? Oh, okay. If the I transaction are not included on the consumer I report. I see what you're doing. So, hey, fellas, with that, guys, I just want to let you know. Appreciate y'all. Right, right, no, appreciate the job. All right, later, my brother. Peace and hair grease. <laughs> so, so Durain, uh, what you're reading is like, you know, is, is what I would call legal cherry picking. Because what they're saying is not a consumer report as, as defined is a report containing information solely as to transactions or experiences between the consumer and the person making the report. Mm -hmm. So 
when, when you say no late payments, I mean, it, it could include all that, but they're talking about something that's just transactions between a consumer and the person making them, just between exactly. those two reports. Exactly. So, so when you get a Wells Fargo card, Brian, credit card, isn't mm -hmm. that experience or transaction between you and Wells Fargo? Wells Fargo is yeah. a corporation. Yeah. Oh, By yeah. definition, they fit a corporation. So if my transaction between me and Wells Fargo is not included, but excluded from my consumer report, how are they reporting me late? When? Remember, the consumer report and the FICO score and the FICO scoring model are two different things. A late payment is a factor in the FICO and the FICO algorithm and scoring model. Your consumer report is your consumer report. The consumer report is needed to generate that FICO or Vantage score. Two separate things. So now that we know the definition, nowhere in the definition of a consumer report does it say a FICO score is a part of the consumer report. So now by definition, under the exclusion section, my transaction with Wells Fargo, my experience with Wells Fargo is not included on my consumer report because that is excluded under the exclusion section and my consumer report does not include it. I mean, okay. I mean, I... I've, I've never heard that. doesn't mean it's true or untrue. I haven't heard of many species of insect feeders. So. <laughs> <laughs> it be, what thing what about, what thing about him? He, he work you, don't he? He work you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I can either affirm or deny that position. <laughs> So the reason why I don't use 1666B is because it's a run. It, the sentence continues and it leaves room for ambiguity. And I don't like that. That's I don't true. like ambiguity. That's why I never use 1666B in none of my letters. Because even though they say it's, uh, what, what is the language? Like open-ended is... open credit. Open and credit to put a late on a credit a credit basis like so we're like they're not allowed to put a late payment on a credit report. Yeah, but then it continues to say something else. The continuation part, I don't like it because it leaves days. room for ambiguity. Because it's easy to now say, well, that sentence isn't a complete sentence. That's true. So I never use that because it just leaves too much room to fight. Back. To fight. Okay. When I go to 15 U.S.C. 1681 A.D. number 2, oh, that is very direct. Right, that's true. There is no misinterpreting that part. Does not include mean does not include. It says consumer report, transaction, consumer, and person making the report. There's nothing to misconstrue about that. Right. So I like to use where I am not left open for conversation. I want to go in, say my point, and close the door. Right. I am not trying to have a conversation with nobody. But I'm definitely curious to see Mr. Ponder's take on that section of the law. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at, you know, the... Uh treatise on that part. I mean, I don't know. I, as that exclusion, I, I'm i not uh, familiar with the interpretations of it um, other than 
other than what you're saying. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We've gotten, I believe, the group all together, the mentorship. Assets, have you mm -hmm. been in the Facebook group lately? Yeah, I've been saying they, they, they've been in there working. The, the late payments, Brian, the late payments, the late payments, the lesions mm -hmm. in the mentorship has gone through the roof. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been in there. It's been crazy in there. Well, that's excellent. I mean, hey, if, if a tool I, works, don't I throw it away. I purposely stop paying some accounts just to get some late payments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm think y'all heard me. I'm about to check you in. I just got, I had a late payment from like April and June. I had COVID, man. I got the whole account deleted. <laughs> so. So did you know that if you have like in an account that has years on it and there's late payments on there, you don't have to delete the account, you know. With this section of the law, you can delete the late payments alone and okay. retain the age for that account. That's true. Especially like student loans. Delete student it. Loans I want to delete it. Example. Yeah, they go with it. Delete it. I want to delete it. Oh, like, shoot, do yeah. you know... That's your deleting your account that has the most age on it. Yeah, your score going to drop. Someone's asking how they can get the late payment letter. Um, the link is in my bio. If you go on the website, you will see. Go to the link in my bio. You will see the... Um, you're going to see a link to the website of products. You go there. You go to letters. And you will be able to find any letter that you're looking for. I ain't gonna lie though, uh, they, that group you got, man, they be in there working. Yo, that group Bruh. is crazy. They be in there making their own letters and all that. I be watching them like, yo, they be going and getting it we're, together. We're not, we're not out here giving people fishes, bro. We're teaching yeah, people how to working. fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you on the first of February. I'm gonna send one. Of, I'm gonna send one of you, you and Brian. Me and the debt collector made a a, a, a letter for debt collectors and creditors. We made a letter together. Crazy. I got a few of my mentees on here right now that have gotten it. Brian, you know Dave, right? Dave Diamond? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dave used the late payment letter and got multiple late payments. Mika used it. Edwin's used it. Edwin's, bro, Edwin, he's been just getting everything deleted, bro. <laughs> like, That's Edwin's awesome. leading the pack right now for the most deletions. The most deletions right now is Edwin. That is awful. Yeah. So you can't well, argue with, with, with what works uh, if it's working. My my point is this, Brian. There's a lot of information out there, and I know people are talking about goodwill letters and all of this stuff. You know that stuff is cute. It's cute, but when you know the law. Vance told me it was luck. Who's Vance? How is it luck if you're all getting the deletions? I guess we're all lucky because that section of the law is lucky. It's not. The law is the law and ignorance of the law is no excuse. So what I'm getting at is when you know how to defend yourself, when you know that something is inaccurate, when you know that under 15 U.S.C. 1681 S2, furnishers of information are prohibited to report inaccurate information, if they know or have reason to believe that the information is in fact inaccurate, you can get anything you need deleted. Not only that, but when you learn about the Graham Leach Bailey Act and the right to opt out of having your information reported, when you learn that under 15 U.S.C. 1635A, and F, you have the right to rescind a transaction, any transaction, 
within a certain given time period. And you know that rescinding a contract or a transaction voids and nullify any security interest and the whole contract put together. When you know these things, ladies and gentlemen, when you know these things, you can do whatever you want to do with credit. Credit is a tool. It's not something that you put on a shelf that is pretty. Credit is a tool. Let me take a drink. Y'all got me finish a whole bottle on here. <laughs> Y'all got me <laughs> what happened to the assets, brother. Assets here just laughing at me. But um, if you're talking about Nick, Nick had to run. Um, pinkies, pinkies up always. So what, what am I getting at, people? <sighs> Who are you getting your information from? Who are you studying with? Is the information that you have factual? when you know that 15 U.S.C. 1602 that are the creditors. Well, that's one thing to say you're the creditor. That, that's one thing. How do you use that to your benefit? How do you get results from that? You know, it's cute that a lot of us know we are the original creditors, which we are, because we created the debt. If you didn't create the debt, that debt wouldn't have existed. and hit them with the Austin Powers pinky. <laughs> Listen, I'm just an island boy just trying to make it. I'm an island boy. I'm telling y'all, beloved, this consumer law stuff is real. What to do next after you let them know and still... It depends on what... Let if you're sending out my letters... See... Not uh, Brian is all dispute letters created equal. Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> so the Facebook group is only for my mentorship. So there's two Facebook groups. The mentorship, my mentorship has a Facebook group. If you're a part of the challenge, you also get an email to join the challenge Facebook group. I'm telling y'all. Y'all need to be in the room. Y'all need to be in the room. Because when we're talking about learning these things, delete it, bruh. Student loans. Brian, I heard a rumor that you cannot delete student loans if they're federal. You can't delete them? Yep, that's what I heard. I heard that you cannot delete student loans. Well, that's not true. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> Assets are oh, no. dying over there. I mean, if they want to believe it, they can, but no, that's not. There's nothing that can be put on a credit report that cannot be taken off. All right, which one? Which one is better, the mentorship or the challenge? The mentorship gives you access to the challenge. If you have, if you just get the challenge, that's all you get. The mentorship gives you the access to the challenge. So, so Dre, I'm right. jumping off. I'll see y'all a little bit later. Yes, sir. Have have a have a good evening. I really appreciate your um you being here. Thank right. you for sure. All right. So let's talk about a few things, right? Damn, it's after 11. I didn't even know it was this late. All right. So let's talk about a few things. Um, who wants to learn how to delete an auto loan from your consumer report? If you want to learn how to delete an auto loan from your consumer report, let me see y'all put me in the chat.
Who wants to learn how to delete an auto loan? Okay. Who wants to learn how to get a vehicle free and clear and your down payment back? I'm going to say it again. Who wants to learn how to get your vehicle free and clear and your down payment back? Okay. Who on here has a mortgage? I'm seeing a lot of me's in the chat. Who on here wants to learn how to delete a mortgage from your consumer report? Who on here wants to learn how to get your home for free? For everybody that's saying me right now, if y'all are not signed up for the challenge, I'm telling y'all, y'all are missing out. If you are not signed up for the three-day consumer law secrets remedy challenge, you are missing out. VIPs, general admission, I'm going to give y'all the sauce. VIP, I'm going to break down the procedure. General admission gets the sauce. VIP gets the procedure. You all need to be in VIP. We are going to take apart truth in lending. I'm going to show y'all the real truth about credit. I am going to show y'all that anything is possible. For everybody on here right now that signed up to the three-day consumer law secrets remedy challenge, let me see y'all put me in the chat. Let's go. See, y'all have me finishing my whole bottle of wine. I finished a whole bottle of wine on this live, bro. Damn. Give me a whole bottle. After that, I want to mention, with great power comes great responsibilities. What you do with this information is up to you. I cannot tell you what to do with this information. I can show you the information. I can tell you where to find it. I can tell you and show you what the law says. But what you do with this is entirely on you. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. You have to be careful how you're using these things. For those of you right now that are not in the mentorship, that are not signed up for the three-day challenge, let me see y'all uh, put all in in the chat and you're going to get in the challenge. I want to see y'all come into the challenge. Let's go. Let me see y'all get in the challenge. You cannot unlearn the things that I'm going to teach you. Not only am I going to teach you how to find multiple violations and get six figures in violation, I'm going to also show you how to multiply those violations. Not 
Only that. If you knew how to delete anything from your consumer report, would you show up to this three-day training event? Right now, if you knew how to delete anything, and when I say anything, I'm talking about an auto loan, a mortgage, um, credit card accounts, student loans, child support, bankruptcy. If you know how to delete the stuff from the, your consumer report, would you be interested in coming to this challenge? I am going to teach you some stuff you've never heard before. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong, you know. You're going to get value if you're general admission. I'm going to give value regardless. But what I'm saying is, for VIP, that information is different. VIP gets a different type of information. For everyone on here that's not, you know what? I want y'all to share this live. Share this live with at least five to 10 people that you know can benefit from this information. Share this live with five to 10 people you know that can benefit from this information that should be at the challenge. That should be in VIP. That's going to learn how to delete a repossession and get paid for it. That's going to learn why late payments are, going to, are, are illegal. That's going to learn why charge-offs are not supposed to be on your consumer report. That's going to learn how to delete student loan. You're going to learn how to get paid for collection violation. You're going to learn how to delete a mortgage from your consumer report. You're going to learn how to get a home free and clear. You're going to learn. You are going to learn how to get a car. How to get a car. Deleted from the consumer report. Get your down payment back. And what the law says that you need to do to retain the collateral free and clear with no obligation. If this challenge is worth your time, let me see y'all put me in the chat. Hey, do you have collection deletion letters? Yes, the collection deletion letters are on my website. If you go to the link in my bio, it's gonna take you to the website and then you go to all products. Once you go to all products, yes, personal loans the same way. Once you go to all products, then now you can go to letters and you can see how to get the collection deletion letters. When it comes to judgments, I have to send you to Brian Ponder. I'm not a I'm not an attorney. I cannot give you legal advice. I do apologize, but you would have to find Brian Ponder when it comes to judgment or anything court related. I can teach you how to delete anything from your consumer report, but when it goes to the court aspect of it, this is where I'm going to recommend you see my guy Brian. That's what he does. And I'm not going to be here and pretend that I'm a lawyer because I'm not. Let me ask you all something. If.
if I can show you how to get paid from having bad credit, would you be interested in learning how? If you would be interested interested in learning how to get paid for bad credit, let me see how I could meet the chat. Will you provide letters in a VIP package? Unfortunately not. For the VIP, for the VIP, y'all don't even know what just happened. Y'all, <laughs> something just happened. Something just happened. Something just happened. Is it in the quick ERZK links? So something just happened. I wish I could pin both things in the chat at the same time. God damn it. I, I'm going to pin this right now. Remember we were speaking about inquiries earlier? So the inquiry. So I've been working on a 24-hour express inquiry deletion guide. I'm going to say this again. I've been working on a 24-hour inquiry deletion guide and my team just informed me that they just put it on the website. I just pinned the link at the bottom. If you have inquiries and you want to learn how to delete these inquiries within 24 to 48 hours, I just pinned the link. You have to go to the website. It is not in the quick links yet. The 24 Express Inquiry Guide, it is live and it is ready. For those of you who have excess inquiries on your consumer report or credit report, whichever you want to call it, and you need to get these inquiries deleted because you need to get funding or whatever it is, the inquiry deletion guide is available on my website. It is not in the quick links yet. Click the link in my bio and you will be able to go to the website and find this product, the 24 hour inquiry deletion. Isn't it true that basically all our bills are technically paid for in full with 15 USC 1602L because of 15 U.S.C. 1692A4, which you need a 1099A. Yes, that is correct, Nish. Um, the price is correct that you just put in the chat. So with that, um, it's not something I teach openly and I don't teach it just to be on the safe side because when people miss comprehend that section or miscomprehend those words is it only for experience no the 24 um deletion in uh the 24 hour inquiry deletion guide is not only it's for all of them it doesn't matter which consumer reporting agency it is it's for all of them i don't teach that and it's not something that i'm going to go into i know it but i don't teach it people get in a lot of trouble when they don't do it correctly so i won't be doing it we have no bills at all at the credit bureau. It's one thing to know and say you don't have any bills. It's another thing to prove it. So um, the inquiry deletion guide is on the website. Definitely go ahead and check it out. It is on the website. Go ahead and check it out. And America is the thief. <laughs> What's the cost for that? You can't submit an entire amount. I'm not even sure what y'all are talking about now. Before you exercise or run any play, make sure that you comprehend how you're going to run the play. 
Do you get letters in the mentorship? Yes. In the mentorship, you get all the letters. What's the cost of the 24-hour um, deletion? Oh, um, it is only 147. 147. 147. The 24-hour express inquiry deletion is only 147. What's the cost of the deletion package? I have a lot of deletion package. If you're referring to the inquiry deletion package, it is only 147. Only 147. How much is the mentorship? The question is, how much is it not to be in the mentorship? Remember, you know, see, broke people know the cost of everything, but the value of nothing. If I say, give me a dollar, and I'm gonna give you $10 in return, would that be a deal that you're interested in? If I say, give me $10 and I will give you $100, would that be a deal that you're interested in? So the issue is, it's not the price that's the problem. The value supersedes the cost of the mentorship. What is it costing you right now not to be in the mentorship? See, cost is only a problem when value is absent. And I can tell y'all right now, my course is filled with value. I have mentees on here. Any of my mentees on here, if I am saying something right now that is not true, if my mentorship right now doesn't have value, tell me. I'm right here. If there is no value in my mentorship, let me know. I'm right here. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Derek Woods, my barbecue man. Shout out to my guy. If there is no value in my mentorship, for my mentees that are on here right now, let me know that there is no value in there. And I want you all to be extremely honest. Be extremely honest. Don't sugarcoat it because I'm here. Tell the truth. If you're talking about a deletion of the account, it's, the late payment letter won't do it. You need a different letter to delete the account. The late payment letter is designed to delete the late payments only. It's not designed to delete anything else. See, y'all made me finish a whole bottle of wine. Can we talk credit? The mentorship is fire. I highly recommend it. I do need the 24-hour deletion. Yeah, it's on the website. I ain't in the mentorship, but I can vouch. Let's get it. Let's get it. Do you believe what you put into something is what you get? Absolutely. Absolutely. So... It go, it's, it's one of the laws, right? If you plant corn, do you, accept, do, you, do you expect to reap peaches? If you plant corn, do you expect to reap peaches? It, no, it's not going to happen. If you plant corn, you will reap corn. What you put into something is directly proportional to what you're going to get out of it. 
if there was a payment option. Yes, we are working on the payment option. I know a lot of you want the payment option. I am working on it. I need my hair braided. <laughs> Bruh. Don't worry about wine. Got a bottle of white rum. Bruh, no, nah, I ain't touching the white bro. No. Nah. See, I ain't touching the white rum right now. Cause y'all want me to no, 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 no. No white rum on here tonight. Nope. Mm-mm. I'm just an island boy, just trying to make it. I'm an island boy. You know his shit. I'm telling you, Brian Ponder is a consumer lawyer. I go toe-to-toe with Brian Ponder any day of the week. Brian Ponder is my guy. Our, our unsold repo is able to be removed. Yeah, if you have a repo in your consumer report, yeah, you can get it deleted. That's that's not an issue. How can I get out of this car loan? You need to be in the challenge. I'm going to show you how to get out of it. Bet you won't go grab a... Nope, you're right. I am not going to grab another bottle. You are right. Wine make you drop the gems. <laughs> yes, wine makes me drop the gems indeed. This is your favorite hook, Carla. We need it. We need it. Yeah, listen. Let me, for everybody that joined the challenge, for everybody that joined my Consumer Law Secrets three day challenge, or the Remedy Challenge, let me see y'all put me in the chat. I just want to know. Oh, shit. One of my guys coming on. For everyone that joined the challenge, let me see y'all put me in the chat. Hey, brother man, what's, what's going up, on, King? Mr. Precise? Hey, bro, you were dropping so many jewels. I was just sitting, man, I had to sign on. I was a student for a minute, had my notepad out, we taking all, all the in. notes. I said, bro, man, go, especially you killing we it. We go all in, bro. Especially when I got the gang here, we go all in. Man, for sure. I'm going to have to mm. uh, pull up to that three days. Y'all talking extra spicy, man, but y'all want to talk about <laughs> that business funding, man. Once you get it off the credit, you know, you got to come see Mr. Poseidon. You got to get that the business, business funding, fund. you know? Hey, y'all, everybody in 2022 is no reason to be broke. If y'all have been listening to what Duran been talking about and all the other phenomenal guys that was just on his live, y'all need to understand the power that y'all have. So that means this. You can get your personal credit together. Then you go ahead and my bowling guy. What's up, brother? <laughs> if you can get your personal credit together, right? Then you go get an LLC or an S Corp. Now, run up the bag, right? Now, I'm not telling y'all not to do anything illegal or don't do anything wrong, but you have to take the advantage of OPM, other people money, all right? You got to take the advantage of other people money. You have to give business funding right now. This is a time that you can just snap, all right? There's too many different ways to get to the bag. You had assets telling y'all about manufacturing spendings. What is that? You're using other people's money to manufacture spend. So imagine if you could do the same thing with the business funding, with the small business. My brother Durant is telling y'all, like, man, I can get anything no deleted out is. your credit profile. And he's teaching you the game, oh, no. no matter what it is. Late payment, chat, okay? Bro. So, so yeah. come on, man. We got in the yeah, circle yeah. in the building. Y'all know how we do. Hey, and then guess what? All of us, you see them circles? Them circles mean 55K. He giving you his program for 297 and he giving you all this sauce? So a lot of people be like, man, Mr. Precise, how much is it? Let me ask you a question. How much can you mm. afford not to get the information? You cannot mm. afford not to get the information, all right? So 297 is cheap. And then if I pull up and I to give you all the game about what bank is looking at what reporting asset and the business funding like that, and I can get you 200K in 90 days, like what can't you do with that 200K? Like, man, the possibility is crazy, bro. 
I'm about to go get me some uh, wine bro, too, Durant. Just, what you I think? just finished a whole <laughs> bottle on here, bro. Bro, I bro. saw you. I saw you. I bought the late payment removal. Man, that late payment removal by my brother is it, crazy, y'all. It's, it's crazy. Like, when, I, when I tell people it's crazy. Like, the things that I'm <laughs> teaching, you will never. Like, even Brian was like, bro, I've never seen this before. Mind you, Brian's a. Mind you, Brian's a bro, lawyer. Uh, Cause that threw me off. You asked him directly more than one time, and he said he froze like this. Well, I can't say he. I can't say yes, <laughs> but I can't say no. And that's the lawyer. So if you are that cold to be able to go toe to toe with him, that's just like somebody coming off the street. Learning how to box and say Mayweather get in the ring, and then you don't knock, he don't knock you out. Come on, that's a win. We out here winning, y'all. Y'all gotta get in these rooms. These rooms is just crazy. The rooms is just crazy. You gotta get inside the room. One of the and his letters are fire. People all the time is like, what is it costing you not to have good credit? I know I can teach you how to get paid from bad credit. I can teach you how to get paid from having bad credit, but. What about being able to leverage your credit? You need good credit for that. See, I can teach you how to get paid from having bad credit. But you right. need good credit if you want to build generational wealth. Can you get six figures right. to seven figures from having bad credit? Absolutely. I can teach you how to do it. But right. nothing beats having good credit where you're able to start your LLCs, leverage your personal credit, leverage your business credit at hey, the same damn bro. time. Bro, my testimony is credit changed my life. So anybody that's following me, y'all understand, y'all heard this testimony plenty of time. I'm a guy from the west side of Chicago and credit literally changed my life. Like I've been able to buy real estate properties. I have foreign cars, jewelry, Everything credit. Me and my brother was just in Puerto Rico. Why? I didn't pay for that first class. You, and I got the receipts. You can go on my Instagram page right now. You can see the receipt. I'm in first class with my feet kicked up, watching a good movie, eating some good food. And that was off of OPM, other people money. Back in the day, you didn't understand how powerful credit was because the credit card didn't exist like they do now. Right now, you have buying power. Buying power. What do buying power mean? You swipe the card, all right? Now you're getting benefit. We, hey, after this live, nobody use a debit card ever again. Debit is trash, all right? Why is debit? Everybody likes to try. Thank you. Appreciate you. Why is debit card trash? Debit card is trash is because this. You get no rewards for using your cash, all right? Back in the day, they used to say, Debit, I mean, cash is king. Cash is not king no more. I that credit these is early. king. I'm now, if you feel... The people that just came on. Are you about to show them, them, them big boys? If you see this, <laughs> you know what this is. You know what this is. Man, that's that play. That MS play. Free. Y'all know what this is. This was leveraged on good credit. Bro, it's no question. Because look, and this is what I tell people, right? Are you tired of paying somebody else's mortgage? Are you tired of renting somebody else's car? Do you understand that if you get your personal credit together, you are able to go buy a property and it'd be less than the, the amount that you're paying to rent it? Now, me being a property owner and owning assets, I'm, getting, I'm receiving the rent. And I'd be like, dang, I can't believe it. That they can, what they paying me, they can own something. You can go get a two flat. You can go get, it, it, the possibility is just crazy, y'all. But you have to oh, get your I'm personal credit together. This live, so we're approaching, I believe, three hours. This live might, uh, um, this live might cut off. So I'm letting y'all know now. I think when you reach three or four hours on a live, Instagram cuts the live off. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure y'all following both of us. Make sure y'all following both of the people who just joined in off my page. Make sure you find follow him. He teach you how to get everything off your credit. Then he teach you how to leverage it so you can go ahead and get assets for bad report. Like man, he called. Start building it. Durant, are you tired? Are you no, tired? You want to hop on and bro, hop back on? I've been, uh, bro, I've been up. You tired? And this whole bottle of wine got me <laughs> real saucy right now. So. <laughs> hey, man. They got to get in that VIP. Like, like, if you don't do the VIP, man, yes. you, you plan yourself. I'm going to give you like, You got to get in the VIP. How to delete a car. You, you... How to delete a mortgage. How to get your home free and clear. Bro, and then once once they do all that, then they're gonna come see me and I'm gonna get them business funded. I'm gonna get you business funded. I'm gonna give you a hundred K in 90 days. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to have on your business report. I'm gonna show you A through Z. All right? Do you got an LLC? All right? What what are you doing? Do you have a business bank account? Do you have a business name that makes sense? All right, everybody want to get business funding, but you can't get business funding with crazy names. Student loans, yeah, we get student loans off too. That's easy. That's mm -hmm. easy. That's easy. All y'all got to do, DM, business credit, business funding, it's business time, setup. Man. Like we got to change easy. the narrative. We, we, we. Like this is my yeah, studio we, we that I'm change. recording in. We gotta like, change the narrative. It's just easy, though. And um, the first thing we need to change, yeah, the first I thing we need to change is our mindset. Right. Mindset is key, cause mindset is what kept us slaves for for four hundred years. You gotta have that mindset put together, and then you gotta understand that it's possible. Like a lot of times, y'all see people get on these lives and they just talking. But y'all got to understand that it's possible to lead these lifestyles. It's possible to leverage your credit to live the lifestyle that you want to live. All right? But what you need is you need a mentor. You need a GPS. All right? Have you ever been in a car and you thought you knew the right way to go? And then it was a detour down the street, but you mm -hmm. had a very important business meeting to get to. But now you can't reach that business meeting because it was a detour. Your GPS... Your mentor, your coach will say, don't go that way. Go that way. Reroute. 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 You see what I'm saying? So you need that GPS. That's why they call me Mr. Precise. We're going to get you straight there. He's going to show you how to delete it, and I'm going to show you how to go get that bag, how to run that bag up, because that's what we need. A lot of small business, they get out of business because they don't have the funding. So y'all got to understand the funding, it will keep you in the game. Now, don't be silly. Don't be stupid, right? Once you get the bag, do something smart with the bag. Don't go buy designers. Don't go buy jewelry. That's not smart. You get the bag. The only way you get the bag is you get the bag, then you flip it. Then you flip it again. Then you can go get some jewelry or get whatever you want. But you have to have a strategy. You have to have a plan. I tell people, it's not about your first name. It's about your last name. Generational wealth. Get the bag first. Once you get the bag, then you can get everything else in life off personal credit. Now, once you get your personal mm -hmm. credit, you got to get the business credit. You got to come to the business credit king. Yeah, we, we, we got to. Got um, we got to place a lot more emphasis on the fact that we need to take responsibility for the situation that we're in. And it's not yeah. until you take responsibility and you really own your truth. Let me see somebody put own your truth in the chat. I want own to see y'all put own your truth in the chat. When you own your truth, no one can use it against you. No collection company, no corporation, no consumer reporting agency. Why is that important? When you own your truth, you are empowered. No one can ever use that information against you. Own your truth. You got bad credit? Own the shit. Own the fact that you got bad credit. It's not where you start. It's where you finish. Your current credit situation 
does not define your reality. It defines you if you want to be in the mud. You want to get out of the mud? That's a fact. Or do you want to get in the mud? <clears throat> I'm going to show you all something that I just got off of credit. I'm going to be right back. All right, while he's showing y'all that, ask some questions. What y'all got some questions? Personal credit, business credit? What y'all want to know? Make sure y'all follow me at Mr. Precise. Heat, straight heat. Y'all want business funny? Straight heat. That's why I'm here to learn. Okay, Perry, what you want to learn, Perry? My brother, Mr. Phenomenal. Personal credit. What about personal credit? What's on your personal credit? What's, what's the problem? See, Durant, he'll get it all for you. I mean, Durant will teach you how to build it. It all depends on. So let me give you a little quick rundown. All right? Quick rundown. Payment history is worth 35% of your credit profile. All right? So you want to make sure that you don't miss a payment. Why is that? Have you ever been in a relationship with a woman or a man, depending on what the sex is, and then you were with that relationship for 10 years, and then you cheated on that person? How did that affect you? How would that affect you? That'll hurt you really bad. So payment history is the most important part on a credit profile because it's worth 35%. Credit utilization is worth 30%. So you have a, a pie, it's 100%. So you mean to tell me that more than half of the pie is 65%. That's payment history and payment utilization. Hey, hey, don't make me Off go upstairs. Hey, Off don't do that. Hey, don't play that credit. game with me. Oh, okay. Hey, credit. hey, you ain't by yourself. Credit. Hey, D, Bro, don't make me go credit. get mine. <laughs> 65 utilization and leverage. 60, yeah, no. Nah. 65% is the payment history and the payment utilization. That would make the 65%. So you want to make sure. A lot of people tell you 30%. 30% is trash. You want to be underneath 10% if you exactly. can. All right? 8.99 to be exact, but you want to, that 30% is trash. is trash. Think about it. It's trash. Why would you want to owe that much debt? It don't even make let sense. Let me break something to y'all. Let me, let me break down something to y'all. <clears throat> the FICO. DM me, I got you. Is based off of five, well, not just five things. There's more things, but five main things. Your payment history your utilization, those make up 65%. Your length of credit history, which is how long you've had credit, then it goes into the type of credit, the mixture, and then new credit, which is inquiries. Those five factors mm -hmm. then go into different buckets based on where you are, what you do, your age, Shout out to the beautiful lady in the house. Hello. What's going on? Did I hear What's YouTube up? What's been up? on here for <laughs> two hours in giving free information? Yeah, this I think it's a No, nah, it's been three hours. So it's, this it's man been, been on fire. Three. And Instagram might cut us off at any time. It been Imagine if they've been giving I, you this been... much information for free. How much they're gonna over deliver once you're in their programs? Oh, not, 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 that's scary. That's scary. If we giving you this for free, over deliver. And he's saucy. Showing and up and like going, just hey, showing you out imagine? like all the way. That's insane. Hey, the o power of PM OPM is real. It's unreal. Y'all don't want OPM. me to get on here and start talking heavy. That ain't what they want. They don't want that. <laughs> they don't want that. Cause I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about straight coming in here trying to get y'all the game on how to get you a hundred K in business funding quickly. I Let's got you. Go. I got you. Let me drink some of this expensive ass water real quick. Hold on. P pinky up. Does it have pink, the pH above nine and ten? <laughs> I can't wait, Ellen. Nine point five. Come on. Nine point five. Shayla said go. only pH nine or ten, okay? The voice coach. I got you. I, this one we got to let see. I Man. drank a whole bottle of wine. All done. <laughs> oh. Online? Yeah. 
Hey man, he been hey, on here. You, man. you feeling hey, good? Ain't you, bro. That game, but I said I'm feeling real good. Man. <laughs> nah, that, that, that. Let me share this with a few people. I need everybody here. Share this with like at least your first five people and your close friends, so that way people won't miss this game real, real quick. We're gonna, we're gonna go crazy real quick. Hold on. Right. And then comment down with. This side, this side about to shut down too. Hey y'all, make yeah, sure y'all following all of us. Make sure y'all following all of us. Oh, and we've been on here a minute. And if y'all know, I, I need to cut back my lives. My lives be going too long. My Zoom's been going too long. I, I ain't no such I, thing. I the people know, need us. They need us. They're just curious. But I don't know if they're just they curious. They need us. Or if you're serious. I think they're curious. You're Man, look at them hard. Look at them hard. I, I need you, you to like, cut it out in segments. You're showing up over delivering. Hey, hey, yes, can I can I get a just real quick though? Just real quick. Let's go. Let's I wanna go. I wanna give everybody the keys real quick to qualify for a hundred thousand dollars in business funding. Just real quick. I like that sax play. I like that. I know <laughs> Yeah. I'm 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 a, I'm gonna I'm send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna drop it in the chat. Free design. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop the sax play in the chat. Not this chat hey. on here. In a circle chat. Let's go, bro. Hey, let's in a circle go. chat. Do do me a favor, y'all. Um Put 100K in the chat if you don't know how to get qualified for 100K in business funding. I'm going to give it to y'all real quick. Y'all going to have to take some really quick notes because I ain't beat it. I got y'all, though, real quick. We talk, like If you want to start a business, if you already in business, you need to grow skill. And you know what I'm saying? To like, really just like take your business to that next level. I'm going to show y'all how to get qualified real quick. And what I'm about to tell y'all is this. I could give y'all some game on building up your business credit profile, too. That's a whole nother conversation. But we talking about... I'm going to show you how to make sure that if you got a, a, a literally, all you got to have is an EIN number and an established articles of incorporation, how your business incorporated. And I'm going to show you how to get qualified for 100K in business funding. All right, bet. So we got them in the chat. Here's what you got to do. First thing first, write this down. Your credit score has to be a minimum of 680 or better. It's got to be. Can't be none, can't be none less than that. Got to be a 680 or better to qualify. All right. Because here's the deal. Reason why personal credit matters and business funding is because the, the misconception in the mindset of people is based upon not knowing the lack thereof knowledge, right? So most people think that you could just say, screw your personal credit and I could just go get business credit and it just don't work that way, okay? Because 99% of lenders gonna want you to personally guarantee for your business line of credit, right? Mm -hmm. So you can go to some lenders and they'll give you just EIN, you know, lines of credit, that's cool. But the, the problem with most of that is that majority of the time, those are charge card situations where if you just get started in business, which most like nine out of 10 people are, you're not in a situation where you can spend $30,000 today and pay it back in 30 days. You can't, you can't mm -hmm. net 30. That's not the situation to be in. You need to be able to float and leverage some cash, right? You need to be able mm -hmm. to spend 100 and have 12 months, 0% APR. So what I'm talking about is putting y'all on game where you're going to be able to qualify for 100 k in business funding and you're going to be able to spend that 100 k and you ain't got to pay no interest over it over the next 12 months, right? This is like straight pure game, right? So you got to personally guarantee credit score got to be a 680 or better. Now we're going to break down these five metrics that your credit profile is comprised of, right? So the first thing is going to be payment history. That's 35% of your score like my brother was telling y'all. You got to have 100% payment history. If you have any issues with your payment history, get with me, Mr. Precise or Duran. And we'll help you get those that payment history taken care of because you got to think about it. Like like my brother said, it's like being in a relationship that you was faithful for at one point in time, and then you end up becoming unfaithful. That's a situation where the bank say, "Well, listen, if this person had great payment history at some point in time, but he can't borrow money to pay people back on time, we don't want to do business with him either. Like we don't want to have no, we don't have want to have nothing to do with you, right?" So in that given situation, you got to understand payment history got to be a hundred percent. You got to be able to borrow money and pay it back on time. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Don't listen to what nobody else say. Now, if you maybe just miss one payment, your payment history may be 99%, you might be able to leverage a little bit, especially if that payment is, is 12 to 24 months old, right? Because they looking at it like, okay, well, that was 12, 24 months ago, year two ago. We might can still work with this person, right? Well, not only that, really? brother man. Huh? Remember, a late payment is not even supposed to be on the consumer report. Late payments right. are illegal in, in right. the first part. That's, That's why they don't come to us. Yep, y'all gotta that's come to us. We'll get it. We'll get it squared away for you, right? So that's the first piece. The second piece is utilization. Your credit card utilization got to be underneath ten percent. Again, think about the ideology. If you if you got a hundred thousand dollars in available credit, 
and you've let's just say you 60,000 of it, you've maxed out 60% of the available credit card spend that you have. So no other bank is gonna want to lend you money. You got we got some people probably potentially on this call right now that's got you know a hundred thousand available, but they're using a hundred and twenty thousand. That's a hundred and twenty thousand dollars that you've used that you twenty percent over your spending limit. No what bank if I are, also told is, you that huh? the utilization is also illegal. Yeah, hey. He gonna hey hey y'all better get with this if man. If you guys aren't oh. taking notes right now, <laughs> why are you here? Take note. Hey man, somebody said fifteen U U S C fifteen sixty six. Hey man, right? Hey, his students so in here. Hey, look, like hey, I'm just get, I'm just giving the game to people report. that ain't privileged to this information quite yet. You see what I'm saying? Just at least they, so they, they need to get in the room, room though. They need to get in the room. That's the that's the cost of not being in the room. You don't get the right information. But go ahead, King. Continue. Yep. So utilization. That <laughs> Yo, Neil just showed up, bro. Hold on. Neil yeah. just showed up. Neil Maya just Oh man, he know what this fire <laughs> going on right now. Let's you know, go. Know they, they yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Yes, sir. Hey, We're busy, busy. busy. <laughs> Y'all get busy. And <laughs> hey, we trying to run that bag up, man. We gotta Let's help the people. Go. We gotta run the bag up and we gotta show the people how to run the bag up. In a circle okay. with the builders. Y'all some circles, man. Let's get it. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Surfers, man. Hey, I got some. I got some of my mentees in here too. I seen them creep up in here. Shout out to the oh, GT. Oh, let's get turned up. I, I, yo, remember. Let's go. Turn up, guys. Let's go. Consumer law secret Tap that heat. challenge. Yeah, yeah. And I'm showing y'all yeah. how to get the house for free, the mortgage deleted. I'm gonna show y'all how to get the auto loan deleted. I'm gonna show y'all how to get the car for free. I'm yep. gonna show y'all how to delete collections, late payments. Yep. Utilization, collection, yep. student loans. But not yes, only sir. that, I'm going to teach you the six-figure play where you can get six figures or more in consumer law violation. There you go. There you right. go. And hey, we it's heavy. It's heavy. Like you said, you got to get in the room. So, look, y'all already know utilization underneath 10. Next category is credit age. That credit age, you need, you need some decent age. Most people at average age is like one to two years. You need to have three years or more. So if you don't, if you if your credit age ain't there, again, get with us. We do trade lines. We can add your trade. Yeah, we we get some trade lines added so you can get that history. You know what I'm saying? Get that age up. And then the last two categories is gonna be your account mix and your increase. So with account mix, you need to have five to ten plus accounts on your credit profile. So if your credit profile is thin, nobody wanna do business with you. You need to have those accounts added. So again, if you need trade lines, you need primary accounts. That's showing on your actual credit profile that you have ownership of or temporary mm -hmm. of as a trade line, so that way you can get qualified. And then the last thing is increase. This is probably one of the biggest ones, even though it's not a heavy weighted metric, but it's big in regards to getting qualified because when you talk about increase, you got to have less than five increases on your credit profile in the last 24 months, which means that from a consumer standpoint, y'all know the consumer laws. When you go and you do a consumer transaction, utilize your social security card. It need to be five or less credit applications done in the last 24 months. And if that's the case, you put yourself in a really good position to qualify for business funding. So that's that's the way the metrics need to be lined up in regards to being able to get you properly qualified so you can personally guarantee for even a brand new business. If your business, your business just got started and ink still ink ain't dry yet on the on the on the IRS documents, you ain't figured out if you got a Dunn's number or not. Trust me, you can still get qualified. And if you need some additional help with business funding, just DM me. I'm I'm pretty cool. I ain't no, I ain't one of them guys that's standoffish. Just DM me and say, hey, I need help with business funding. I got y'all. Someone just said 24 hour removal for inquiry. All I was of about, them. All of about, them. They got I was about you. to give that gem, but I didn't want to interrupt Mr. Precise. So when it comes to inquiries, there's a lot, of, and we discussed this earlier. I had my friend here, Brian Ponder. He's a consumer lawyer. And a lot of people don't know that mm. they can get paid for inquiries, right? And I'm not talking $1,000. I'm talking more, significantly more. Because permissible purpose, it needs to be proven. The law says under 15 U.S.C. 1681B2 that a written permission needs to be given for permissible Technology, purpose. Technology. So right. not right. having permissible purpose gives room for 15 U.S.C. 1681Q where they pull the report under false pretenses and that brings them into civil liability. 
So for everyone on here that have a lot of inquiries that you want deleted, the in the twenty four the do for sell twenty four hour inquiry deletion guide is available. I just dropped this product today, literally like thirty minutes ago. Hey, and, and it's smart that you dropped it because a lot of people are trying to they call don't know in what and not say. getting the response. They don't know what to so say. they need. Bro, that was trying so to tell you. The so they need your letter. Guide right they now. Need you your go to the quick links in my bio. You will find the 24-hour inquiry deletion package along with a late payment letter in there. I think there's a late payment and an inquiry deletion letter in there. Let's go. So yep. we're not just here talking stuff and not being able to prove it. Yep, yep. Everything that I say here is straight law, straight facts. I can give you the law. AD. AD, check this out, right? Remember what we were talking about in uh, PR? It happened, too. Remember I said, man, I got an 800 credit score. I'm about to mess it up just mm -hmm. to show how fast I can bring it back. So what I did was I took out a 20K loan. And I got the receipts for this, too. I took out a 20K loan. Pray. I'm like, <laughs> man, I ain't paying this. I ain't about to pay this. So... <laughs> I did Metro 2 plus some little sauce. Man, I got that boy. I got the whole mm -hmm. account deleted off my profile. I had six late payment, zero late payment. So, hey, guys, what he's talking about is real. All right? The difference between my brothers, but this is my business part, Mr. Phenomenal. That's my business part. So we do the same thing, all right? But the difference between me and uh, Duran is this. We do the work for you. He teach you how to do it yourself. But sometimes people ain't got the time to do what they sell. So you need some help. Come to Precise Vision, Precise Credit, and we can get it done for you, all right? So he's going to show you how to get it done. But either way, yep. guess what? Yep. Just get it done, all right? Yep. Done is better than perfection because if you don't get it done, it can never be perfect, all right? So the first thing y'all got to do is follow each and every one on this panel. People like, how do we follow y'all? Just click that button right there and just follow each and every yep. one because the game is crazy. Y'all have to get into my brother mastermind, the three day challenge. And if you, whoever do it, I'm gonna lock in with you. I'm gonna be in the VIP. And we're gonna be dropping yep. this sauce about this business funded. Because once you get the personal credit, what do you do? Yep. How do you leverage your personal credit? How do you use other people's money to get to the bag? The SBA been around for a long time. But if you didn't have your profile put together, like my partner just told you how the profile is supposed to yep. look, you're gonna miss out on that money. It's a lot of rent. Yeah. Like, wait yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. When she started talking, she started talking about these systems, on. and she started talking about these grants. So I'm about to get her the mic because she's going to tell you that this money been around. The great thing about it is when these two people tell you how to uh, get the money, I mean, how to get your profile together, yep. me and my brother going to get you the funding. Yep. Who can't use 250? Yep. I got yep. I just hope two feet. people are like taking that. notes because you guys are – over delivering Man, working PM, overtime. This VIP yeah. working overtime. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm pulling up, Durant. I'm pulling hey, up. Hey, Durant, I, I like that shirt, Durant. Look, oh, I like he? that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, I like those shirts. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I got, go. Is that on the shop? Did you put that hey, on man. the shop? I got you. Yes, I got you. This will be on the shop. The other ones will be. Let me, let me really show y'all what I'm working with because a lot of y'all don't even know. Let's oh, go. Oh, he about yeah. This is the yeah. uniform. I love it. The uniform right I just need, okay, since hey, he's handing me the mic, um, let me, hey, well, let me mic, introduce sis. myself. My name is Ellie. Um, I know all these gentlemen over here because we're all in a mentorship together. It's not our first mentorship, and it definitely won't be our last. So let me tell you, your coaches have a coach, okay? So then as long as we're pouring into you, someone else is pouring into us, but um, that's a whole nother story. I've also won awards for sales. I have a Harvard degree, but I just need you guys to know that last year, hundred, not million, but hundred billion dollars in SBA and grant money went mm. back to the feds because yeah. nobody applied for it. Money that belonged to you and I went to the feds. It, nobody applied for it. How do I know that? I used to work in Homeland Security. I like literally had access to that money. Nobody applied for it. So imagine right now you in need of people are saying 100K. How do I get 100K? Honey, Linda, 
The hundred K is like the start. She said Linda. It's, it's not even <laughs> it's not even the peak wheel. Right. I am telling you, I am one person that can sit here and tell you I got up to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in SBA and then I was like, I know I can get more. I'm not gonna settle. Mm -hmm. You guys mm. need to put yourselves out there. Let me tell you something. Go on Fiverr.com, Upwork.com, Freelancer.com. It's going to cost you twenty to fifty dollars an hour to hire a grant writer. Yeah. And negotiate with them. If you write three grants for me, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Yep. Done. Yep. Done. Now you're going to literally for that. That way you're collapsing time for a hundred dollars. Oh. How much time has value to you? Your time should have value. The difference mm -hmm. between middle class and the higher class is middle class. They sell time. They go and get another job to get more money. But the higher class goes and collapses time. They do things. They implement systems to buy time. Mm -hmm. So I need you to this year start actually positioning yourself in a way where you can get the SBA, you can get the grants. Everybody go to small business trends. They post the new um, grant, new SBA with mm -hmm. the requirements, with the prerequisites of how you can apply every day. Every day, it's like a magazine just for grants. Yeah. There's so many free resources out there only if you decide to position yourself to use it. And that's just one. But all these three credible people here, they've already paid to be in different rooms. The money is not an asset. Like the problem is you start thinking how much it costs for me to go in. How much is it going to cost you if you don't go in? He's telling you he can do 24 hour credit inquiry removals. Like I just learned that one a couple of months ago. They told me, I'm like, what? 20, <laughs> I can get stuff removed in 24 hours. Yeah. You we can have get your people car free and clear you yep. can get those Insane. Homes free and clear oh y'all don't even know people have the to get mortgages deleted right tell them well, they don't even want to know he yeah. teaches you because it's law this all of this is legal every single one of us on here we're actually professionals yeah like what we're telling you it's Credit approved, consumer law approved. They have like entire businesses like um, Mr. Precise, Mr. Phenomenal, Credit Hero. They're all working with high clientele, celebrity clients. Any information I brought, I teach business systems. It's Harvard approved. So it's like you need to take advantage of the information that when someone's coming in here and giving you free information. There you go, Abir. Um, she linked it, smallbusinesstrans.com. You know, Shade Room every day, their job is to post like, all people's business out there. Small business trans puts <laughs> the business about SBAs and grants. Every day, new yeah. grant. Every day, new grant. Yeah. Go in this year. Start taking advantage of the OPM, other people's money. And hundred K yeah. is just the beginning. I'm just, I'm just listening here and I'm um, like loving it. But I yeah. hope these people are taking notes. Man, that's a hundred. That's a hundred K in ninety days, Ellie. That's a hundred K in Guaranteed. ninety days. So just, Guaranteed so just a mental. How much pressure? So guess what, y'all? Let me I'm gonna tell y'all the real story because I want y'all to put some urgency on what we're talking about because it's only five percent of people in here is gonna execute, okay? It's only be five percent who's gonna join his mentorship. It's only gonna be five percent that gonna DM us and be like, man, we really serious, we really want a precise vision to get to our goal, we really want mentorship, we really need help, right? But let me give you a real story because this happens a lot, right? A lot of times we have an opportunity to make a move, but we say tomorrow. We're going to say we're going to wait. My sister, she received a check from Navy Federal, and she had ran the play, right? So I, I, she and my mentor, she ran the play. So she received a check from Navy Federal. She seen a beautiful car that she wanted, BMW, all the bells and whistles, 2022. She ready to just go crazy, right? So she get the check, and she's like, man, I can't wait to get off of work. I'm about to get this car. I'm like, man, I'm like, you sure you want to wait? She's like, yeah, it's going to be there. I got the check. What they going to do? They ain't going to not take my money. Tell me why. Five minutes by her getting off her job, she received a phone call right when she about to leave out the door. Guess what the phone call was saying? Sorry, ma'am. The car somebody is put, not available somebody put, anymore. Somebody put success, you know love, speed success love speed in the chat. Success love speed. Success love speed. Do you understand what type of pain that can cause you? Next story, it's going to be real quick. Everybody's talking about the SBA. The Bible talks about it's better to be prepared 
for war in a time of peace, all right? Didn't nobody know that this disease was going to come. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want this lab to get shut down. But guess what? It did come. Would you prepare for the glory? Would you prepare for the grant? All right? You want to be prepared. You can't afford not to miss this man masterclass. You can't afford not to get this business funded. You cannot afford not to get your personal credit put together. Because when a situation comes, what are you going to do? Are you going to miss out on the money? Are you going to be missing out on the apartment? Are you going to miss out on the loan? Are you going to miss out on the mortgage? Are you going to miss out? All right, success loves speed. So we can't put up, my mom always used to tell me this, never put off things for tomorrow that you can do today. Today, you can click his button, get into his master class. You, know you can crazy? see how much is VIP. it, Drain? How much You is can it? click the button. So VIP is only 297 General mm -hmm. admission is only 97 Oh, man, you giving uh, that giving that away. Yeah, my boy said it should have been. My boy said it should have yeah, been. Yeah, he giving away, man. Yeah, easy. That's easy. That's easy. Wow. To know all the consumer laws that they can use, not for one business, but any business they open from now on. Yep. This young lady said, um, can I interpret for her what is success, like what is interpret success, love, speed? What success, love, speed mean is you can't, you can't act tomorrow for things that you can actually take, take advantage of and actually act on today. Give you an example of success, love, speed. Every time you wait to buy something, the price of it always goes up. So right now, if you yep. look through, like right now, Durain said it's two ninety seven for VIP. If he changed his mind tomorrow and say, you know what, I'm taking VIP to four ninety seven, you missed the two ninety seven price point because, like Fat Joe said, yesterday's price it ain't today's, today's price. Today's prices. Are seats limited, Drain? Are seats yeah, limited? Yeah, we're, we're we're gonna. So, I want to keep the VIP at a level where I can really connect with them. So I'll be capping the VIP very soon. I think I'll probably do it around Wednesday. Um, one of the other things that I want to mention yeah. to all my military veterans that's going to see this. If you've stayed for the live for this long, I am going to teach you how you can use the SCRA, Service Member Civil Relief Act, how you can use the SCRA and get paid if you have interest rates over 6%. Wow. So I'm, I'm going to say this again. For everybody on here that is military, that is active duty. You have to be in active duty. If you're military active duty and you have interest rates over 6%, I can teach you how to use the SCRA and get paid for all the time you've been on active duty with an interest rate over 6%. You will get all that money back. Facts. Mm. Hey, hold on. Uh, Brady by B, 27%. That's a robbery. It's okay. She got to get with us ASAP. ASAP. That's a robbery. No, she just it's need fine. help. She just I mean, need okay, help. She said she get paid yeah. Friday. Yeah, so, you know, she get paid. You're in the right room. You're yeah. in the right room. Man. Yeah, we. Just, just right don't, just room. don't not get help. Hey. That's it. Just, just take advantage of the information, Queen. We got you. Yeah. Man, ASAP. It does. Love speed. Hey, success, love speed. Cause look, like, like, like Neil told us, he said, "Shoot, he be waiting to get them flights." When you, when you, when you contemplate on getting a flight, and you looking at it, that flight say three hundred dollars round trip, and you wait to get it to mine, it say four hundred. You waited too long. The price oh, sold out. I hope oh, they're sharing this live. I hope so they're that, sharing this live I'm, with five to ten more people. Like, if you know anyone that can benefit from this information, that has a mortgage that they need to get the home free and clear, that has an auto loan that they need to get out of, that's in the military and they have an interest rate over six percent. Like, if you know anyone that is in this position right now. They need to be tapped into my training. Yep. That's a no-brainer. How do you start? How long you been in bankruptcy? We can get bankruptcies off your uh, consumer report too. Bankruptcy, we're we, we not scared of the boogeyman. Guess what? When you look underneath your bed, you look in that closet, the boogeyman does not exist. We have power. Consumer law, Metro too, yep. we have power. We can get all that off. 
Don't worry about the boogie, man. We're going to help you get that bankruptcy together. All right? You're just going to have to start building your profile up. We talked about trade line. Trade line do what? Authorized users. Back in the day, they used to call it piggybacking. What is it going to do? You're going to give you good history. You're going to give you a high limit. So now when you're starting to get them credit cards, you're going to start building your profile up the proper way. We help you get primary accounts. So there's different ways to build that bankruptcy. You know, once we get the bankruptcies out, there's different ways to build that profile up. That consumer report is gold. That's it. OPM. That's it right there. That's it right oh, there. Oh, so I need to tell people what's going to be included in the, in, in the, in the challenge. I totally forgot. So in the challenge, and this is only this only applies to VIP. I'm giving away a free Oculus. Cobra. An Oculus Quest. He's setting the bar high. Uh, an Oculus Quest two. I'm giving like VIP that? will only get a chance to win this. General I admission, I do apologize, but I don't think <laughs> you guys are about to learn consumer law in the metaverse. Okay. I, I don't think y'all are ready for this. So I'm also giving away. Hey, hey Ellie, he had a, he had a guy watch. up there talking about. I love I'm it. Giving away a crypto. I love it. Seven, a series seven, red Apple Watch, and it and it's red. He's yeah. heavy BB, on the series. Good, bro? Series seven, <laughs> company colors. I'm also giving away. So I just made the consumer law secrets flashcard study flashcard. It has the laws on them. Three. There's, there's different ones. There's Truth in Lending, Fair Credit Reporting Act, um, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, all of them. Everybody that attends VIP will get the Consumer Law Secrets Study Flashcard. Everybody that attends mm -hmm. VIP. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I got to <laughs> get up on my Consumer Law. So I said I was going to so, do it. So now I'm going to pay you. I just pay you for the because I'm like, because the thing about it is, like me and my brother, uh, Mr. Phenomenal, we focus on Metro 2, Metro 2 compliant. But it power to know the law and use Metro 2. So now you're getting in the front end and you're getting in the back end. So where are they going to run? If you playing high-go seat and I'm right there and, and I got my man behind you, Bro. hey, you're going to get seat. Have so, you ever hey, the heard power of the laws is crazy. For having bad credit? For people yep. that have bad credit, I'm going to teach y'all how to make six figures using consumer laws. Hey, look. Now, watch this. <laughs> look, look the rag going to teach you how to make six figures using consumer law. Then once you use that consumer law and you get your credit straight, I'm going to teach you how to get qualified for high-limit credit cards and how to properly manufacture spend and make six figures a year without spending $1 or going into any sorts of debt. And I'm going to show you how to make six figures a year just sitting, sitting your ass at home on the couch. I'm gonna show you. I got. Look, why, hey, hey, in your personal theater, when you're in your own studio, <laughs> you just just chill. Like we can't make this lifestyle. Look, you can yep. only fake for so long. Crazy. We can't fake this. All the people money. Other people money, y'all. That's it. Other people money. If y'all not following man, us, I don't know what y'all <laughs> I, I, I just don't people, understand. I use other people like, all man, day, every day. I, get it. I went. Like, I, I, Look, man, I, I took a, my timeline. You can't, look, you I, took that, I took that flight, long. Duran, when I came to New York City, man, I, I used other people's money to catch that flight. I didn't pay oh, for that flight. PM. I, didn't pay for I didn't pay for none of that, man. That was that was all just credit and other people's money. I didn't pay for none of that. Cash Does back everybody on here know what business credit is? Like all 72 of you guys? Man. If y'all know man, what that's business power. credit is, let me see y'all put me in the chat. If y'all know what business credit is, let me see y'all put me in the chat. Other people money. Yeah, your bad credit don't make you some money. Look, and, if, that and, if, and if you don't program. know what business credit is, it's cool. I teach that in my mentorship. My my January class sold out. Actually, my February class just sold out today. So I'm about to start taking um uh for my my March class in like the next week or so. I'm, I got to get this this stuff situated because I got to get everybody straight for February. But if y'all interested, y'all can DM me mentorship and then I'll. Um, but y'all got to. We all just went to a whole trip in PR for free. I want to go back. Business credit. We literally went to PR. Hey, man. All of us hey, on here hey. that you see. I can't wait to oh, go. Go ahead. Go, Perse. Hey, that's the bad weather. Different. No, you can.
I'm sorry. I just said yeah. I to go to Dubai, uh, April, May. Hey, look, did y'all just see um did y'all see what uh what Neo dropped in the Facebook group? What he say? No, what he said. He said he wanna uh he want us to all come down to Miami um in a couple weeks. He said come to Miami in a couple weeks. Then he said for his birthday in April, he gonna hit we going he said he wanna go somewhere else. Then he My said he birthday is in April. Then My birthday is in April. We had this conversation at the yes, table. Yes, we did. <laughs> Me, you, Neo, Neo. or Shayla, who else? <laughs> He has a yeah, that mentorship yeah. program. Hey, that's it. so let me say something, right? So we all talk about mentorship programs, but you know why though, right? You know why though? You know why we all got mentorship so, programs? Because 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 God put it why? in us to give back to the community. Because what we're doing is we're replacing universities. So instead of you going to spend four years at a university and you giving them a hundred thousand dollars and you try to graduate. And you ain't got no job, and you struggling to keep up with your student loans payment, and they raping you. Mm -hmm. All we do is put ourselves in position. We the, now we the university. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a professor. Ellie's a professor. Mr. Precise is a professor. Durain's a professor. Like we're the professors, so all you gotta do is just come to our class, spend the next thirty to ninety days with us, lock in with us, pay for the mentorship program, and we'll show you how with a with a very small fee, whether it's only two k, whether it's only five k, only ten k. Whatever you have to pay, you pay that, and you come up out of there making six figures with no debt. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the new university, so y'all got to lock in and plug in with us because the old way of thinking is it's out of there. Like, y'all have access to too much information to still be trying yeah. to go to universities and get let these teach you nothing. That's true. Yeah. And, and that's a fact. So, so this is what I was going to say, right? So all of us, besides me and my brother, we all met at a conference, all right, a mastermind conference. And a lot of times we always say, man, I'm the only one that think this way. I'm the only one on my block. I'm, a, I'm the only one in my city. But sometimes you gotta be willing to go somewhere yeah, else to find indeed. more like-minded people like you. You are not the only one, all right? So you can't be afraid to find out what is not normal. The unnormal is really your reality, all right? So it's other people like you. So we being in different countries, we meeting in Miami, we meeting in Puerto Rico, we finding other like-minded people. So whenever you have an opportunity to get into a mastermind and find other people that want to get their credit together, find other people that want business funding, you have to be willing to invest in yourself mm -hmm. and you have to be willing to go because it's other people that is talking the same language you're talking to. You can get your own inner circle, all right? You can get on live with three other people. But you have to not be afraid to challenge yourself. You have to be willing to go find other like-minded people. And you have to be, be willing to be uncomfortable. Because guess what? They told us, you stupid. Why would you pay somebody 55000 to join a mentorship? You stupid. You a goofy. That's a fraud. Can I ask you? No, me? we ain't no Can goofy. I get the mic? We understand that. Let me get the last thing. Let me, I'm going to drop the mic. In this, in, I got to say my, my slogan. We're not a goofy, but what y'all got to understand is education will change your conversation. I'm going to say it again. Education will change your conversation. So when you invest in yourself and you find out one thing new, one gym, and you apply it, all you need change your life. is one play. OPM. Somebody put one play in the chat. All you need is just one play to change your life. That's it. One so Go ahead, I Ellie. need everyone to like listen. Like You have two ears, borrow two more, and listen sure. to this. The credit here, here over here, he teaches you the law to be your dictionary. And when you know the law ins and outs of it, you are undefeatable, okay? No one can literally stop you from going forward. These two down here, Mr. Phenomena, Mr. Precise, they teach you the ins and outs of cre business credit, credit funding. And imagine how, much, how many businesses you can go start with guaranteed business funding. I teach you how to put business systems in your business. How much is that worth to you if you can know all of this and now you can go teach other people to do it? Mm -hmm. Imagine the different people we work with. Like I have one company, just one company save 200 million in one quarter. How much is that worth? Getting mm -hmm. business funding by paying, how much is 297 to know the ins and outs of law? Man, y'all better insane. get it. Insane. Insane.
Yeah. They Paying get... two thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars to get hundred thousand dollars minimum guaranteed in business funding. I saw it somewhere here earlier. I don't know who's on here and don't take this the wrong way, but you should not have it to that 2022, 2022 Benz with that credit score because you are prioritizing liabilities over assets. Yep. Yep. I need you to go set a business and you probably already have your business. That's why you're here. You need your business credit so you cannot buy that car in your business name. Yep. Yep. And it, and if you if you need a resource on how to get that how to put that car in your business name, DM me for that too. I got a connection. I can get you connected with somebody. But you got to have a real legit business with articles of incorporation and everything like that, and uh, show some proof of income. And I can get that switched over. And business, this is two things that business always get. Business always get super low interest rates, and they get high lines of limits and credit cards. So. They get high li lines of credit, high limit credit cards, and they get very low interest rates on credit cards and lines of credit. So we're talking about installment loans or revolvers like credit cards and car loans. So I'll help you with that, too. You know what the problem is, Mr. DeLevante? You know what the problem is? People think they don't need to know the law until it comes their way, until they need to deal with it. And then they get scammed because now when you're going to run up and say, oh, I need to buy a home in three months, um, four months. And I want you to work magic. I'm sorry, that's not how it goes. But then, no, somebody tells you that they're going to give you a whole fix in 45 days, and you go and you get scammed, and you hear credit repair don't work, and you hear all these things about credit. You didn't just know yesterday that you needed to buy a home. Like, you've been, you've been knowing. Been, you've been known. But you're going to wait until the last minute. Yeah. Then you want us to jump through hoops and work miracles for you. It doesn't work like that. It took yeah. you years to mess this thing up. Why do you think it's going to get fixed overnight? Yep. Mm. yep. We got to have realistic expectations. I can get anything deleted. That's sure. That takes time. <laughs> we're not willing to go spend in our on our mind on ourselves but we're so quick to go buy That's liabilities and somebody just put in the chat less than five percent of people will take action on the information but they'll still complain tomorrow that is absolute facts check 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 that's a fact yeah swift link yeah swift that's, that's that's the smartest thing god damn it all night dang I just know people just tired of being in the situation at the end. And this is the knowledge. Yeah. Like, you have to apply the hey, look, knowledge. Look. Like, it's cool to be here. Here's the craziest part. Responding. What are you doing? Duran teaches what he teach. Every, like you said, only 5% going to take that. So that means that's another 95% that's going to complain. They're not going to take action. And they're going to stay in the same spot. We teach it business credit business funding she teaching business systems you got a whole panel of people that could really like if you plug in with us and no matter what the hell the cost is we're gonna change your life forever but yet you're gonna sit there with bad credit you're gonna sit there with a scarcity mindset and not even really understanding that you said i right, would well, rent 297 or 397 or whatever it's cost too much dion mr precise y'all mentorship program is is 2k that's too much Ellie, your, your mentorship program is 2, 3K. That's too much. You said it's too much, but every single day you live with bad credit. Do you not realize that that's too much? You're sacrificing your car. You're sacrificing a house. You're sacrificing the lifestyle you can live. You're sacrificing your kid's Disney World trip. You're sacrificing free money and income because literally credit is cash. If you got very good credit, you could turn that into cash. Easy. Leverage. Leverage it. Tens of thousands. And if you got a car with bad credit or if you got a house with bad credit, you paying so much in interest. You see, I've seen the young lady. She said she paying twenty seven some percent of interest on a on a on a bench. She paying six seven hundred. Like, come on, y'all. Like, Bruh. like she, she, it's so much money being wasted. When she get that thing flipped over and she get a six percent, four percent interest rate, her car not gonna go from six hundred to damn near two three hundred dollars. We talking about look but how much money. What saved. happens when she learns the right of precision? You mm. know and what's she, gonna happen. Yep. I know you're not old. even enjoying the car. She gets That's a free car don't go like free this. I know for a fact you're not even enjoying the car because you're sleep, sleep, like losing sleep at night over that interest rate. Yeah, that interest rate is crazy. That's more yeah. than my 2007 Nissan Altima with 75,000 miles on it. 
<laughs> hey, look, she damn it, she da she damn it paying. And it, look, get look good, Queen. This ain't to make you feel bad at all, but I got a BMW i8. That's you damn near. You might as well you might as well win and got an i8 for that. I mean, shit. I mean, come on. And we talking about that's a hundred thousand dollar cop. I no, mean, no, for for I don't remember who said that, but I want to first say I respect you and I appreciate you for being honest. Yes, we, being we, we honest, that. being we vulnerable. That. So you're already seventy five. You already have identified the problem. You've seventy five percent there. You have already identified what the problem is. So none of this is to make you feel bad. I respect you. I want to yeah. say thank you for coming on here and sharing that. But Absolutely. I just want you to know there's so many resources for you to turn that 180 degrees around. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. So let me give you some game real quick. So, all right, your interest rate is 27%. Now, what you do his mastermind, Durant, Durant is going to tell you how to remove it because in the consumer law, you're not supposed to even show your utilization. So that's the first thing. So the next thing is this. You can always refinance that car. So once we get your personal credit together, you you this temporary, all right? This temporary. You can always get a refinance. You can go to uh Navy Federal. You can go to any type of institution and just refinance got, that car. I so got a question. Today, du Duran. So right. when she take your class, what is she gonna learn in regards to um the the auto vehicle that she currently has? She gonna just be able to get it deleted, and never have to make a payment ever again? How does it work? All right, so take notes. There's a there's a few things. So the first thing is, um, under truth in lending, we need to evaluate her contract. We need to find mm -hmm. out what disclosure she got when it pertains to the retail installment contract. Was there a finance charge involved? Um, was there a down payment? You know, down payments are not supposed yeah. to even be there. And then, yeah. no, when exercising the right of precision, if she's within a three-year window, right, from the date of the consummation of the contract, she's within right to exercise her right of precision. And what that simply means is a consumer may exercise their right of precision to any transaction where no, that null and void, any security interest that was given as a result of the transaction, when you exercise your right to rescind, you terminate all of that. And all you have to do is give the creditor a notice that you're exercising your right as per the regulations of the Bureau. And it's, it's really, bro, it's really not a complicated thing. Mm -hmm. And once it says any transaction, so personal loans, Home loans, auto loans, it doesn't matter. Loans are goddamn loan. Yep. Yep. And you rescind that, you terminate the security interest. If you terminate the security interest, nobody can come after you for anything, bro. The security interest has been terminated as per law, 15 USC 1635A. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so she essentially, she gets to keep the car, right? Yeah. And then is her is she still gonna have to make payments or no? No. The security no. interest has been terminated. There is no okay. payment. The contract is void. Okay. So she keeps the car, so then they're gonna send her a title essentially, correct? She needs to demand her title. Mm. Do you need a title to drive a car? No, nah, you need a title to drive a car. All right. He charges thousands of dollars <laughs> to teach people that and he just told you guys for free. Did you write it down? Right. If they, if, if they miss it, now check this out, She said she put nine thousand dollars down. Girl, you got a check coming, baby. You got a check. Oh wow. Yeah, you got a big check coming. You got a check coming. Wow. Now check this out, people. We are not financial advisors, okay? <laughs> so all this is an entertainment purpose. <laughs> disclaimer. Disclaimer. Oh, yeah. This is what's like. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is entertainment purposes. Now on your own, we are not suggesting. Like every time I watch YouTube, they be saying we are not suggesting that you buy crypto. We just tell you which one to go yeah. with. <laughs> like, damn, okay, cool. But now, real talk. Just because we can get it deleted from your credit profile, like let me go back to my story. I deleted twenty thousand dollars loan off my personal credit profile just so I can have my receipts and tell people 
that you can do it too, right? You so not. You, why you, why you lying? You're not paying them I back. Just want to know, <laughs> why I'm paying my people their money back? Hey, I'm paying they, hey, <laughs> Mr. Precise want to stay precise. I just want to show y'all. Hey, hey, hold on, look. Watch this. Exercise your right to rescind. Man, y'all some frauds. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Look, this. Watch this. look you didn't know that you can huh? exercise your right to rescind and hey, void look. that whole transaction. If y'all if y'all think he going to pay that money back, put a one in the chat. If not, <laughs> put a two in the chat. <laughs> Oh, I'm going. I'm going with two. He's not gonna pay that money back. He's not paying that money back. <laughs> it ain't no my credit report. Why would I pay it back? back? What, I don't owe nobody nothing. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, you can exercise hey, yo, like your I said, right to it said not, two. Do you guys <laughs> realize how powerful it is for you to know consumer law? Am I saying two? Y'all don't believe me? It's powerful stuff. Oh my. No, I got no, no one. Two, two plus two. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Mr. Precise, okay. Miami's on you. We'll see you in Miami. <laughs> I see that one, Miami's on you. you. We like the right. Lowe's Hotel. You know, we like the Lowe's. Sh shout out shout out to Miss Jackson in the building. That's my mentee, y'all, man. She finna get this game coming up. Hey, y'all, for the people who just get in here, yeah, make yeah, sure y'all oh, I got me a one. one. You know what? Yo, DM me, <laughs> man. I got some free sauce for you, man. I got one person to believe in. Out of 80 people, nah, one person nah, believe it. Everybody, everybody, DM me, bro. I'm going to do some special sauce. sauce. <laughs> I got you. Y'all are crazy. I love Listen, it. Hey, look, I am about to retire for the night. Y'all got okay. me messed up. I'm on a whole bottle of wine. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. I'm this sorry. look. We we promise, I'm man. I got, I'm, we going to be on here every day to help y'all, man. Because, you know, we know, like, to me, just just being here and just talking to the people and giving y'all information, it, it gives y'all hope. Like, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm a hope dealer. You know what I'm saying? I deal hope. Like, all we do is we just deal hope, and we give people hope and prosperity for the future because that's all you really be needing a lot of times because nobody believes in you. Nobody going to, you know, help you out. But I would just tell y'all at the end of that, you got to be willing to help yourself too. You got to be willing to put, you know, put that left foot in front of that right foot you know, and, and walk with faith, you know, because faith without works is dead. So you got to put in that work. As much as you're praying, you got to move your legs and move your feet, too, and you got to mm -hmm. put in some work, too. We can't do all the work for you. We can't. Facts. But we can give you the information. You just got to run the play and execute on it. Run That's all you play. need is just one play, run you know. Play. Hold on. Hey, Durant, before you get out, I'm about to show these people that I got this 20K why, why you think off my profile. So y'all can leave you. Yeah. They, they leave you. I don't know, cause cause everybody put you two more so I like receipts. receipts. You said, oh, no, no, no. Pull it no, we we I believe it. We just think they don't believe it. We just no, don't they believe it. They're gonna give it back. Right, we just don't believe you're gonna give it back. So, no. so show us the. So y'all see that right here? It's like a hundred percent payment history. Show right? us the receipts. Now I'm about to go back. The payment, sir. Payment. Okay, that's what we want to see. Deposit <laughs> sent. <laughs> 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 That's it. We just want to see you make the payment, man. But hey, look, Duran, man, you you um you definitely uh you you giving out some hella game, man. My my hats go off to you. I salute you, bro. Like, you know, you you have been you've been on a mission. Yeah, I've been actually down. I've been actually sick the past like week and a half, but I'm back, bro. I just finally got my voice back. I've been yeah. putting together, you know, doing all my videos and stuff for all my funnels. My funnel's about to launch in the next two weeks, and so yeah. I'm excited about that, man. And um just to kind of continue to run with you. I appreciate you, bro, because they don't understand. There's 77 people on here, and I need all 77 people to understand and know that Duran, when I say this man giving 200% every single day, my hat go off to this man. Y'all don't understand. Like, like I call, like y'all can ask Mr. Precise. I call him every single day. I say, bro, I just, I don't, I'm not asking you to do nothing other than just, just, just run with me. I don't give, I don't care how fast, how slow you gonna run, just run. We, you gotta no, run. Running. What, I, what I mean by run is just run the plays. Don't stop moving. Keep keep moving. Keep moving. Keep going. Every single day, you got to get closer and closer and closer to your goal. Closer and closer to them dreams. Closer and closer to your aspirations. That's it. Every single day. Every single day. Don't let Bread it by Bree. Y'all got to. And, and listen, I'm telling y'all right now. Stop hanging. If, if y'all hanging around people and they ain't talking like us and they, they ain't making you feel some kind of way with the they conversations, gotta go. they still talk. They gotta uh, go. Y'all delete them out. They got to go. Like, 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 just delete them. You know they ain't doing nothing but sitting around smoking weed and 
and and talking about stupid stuff and ain't making no money. If it ain't talking about making no money, opening up no businesses, you know, execute, get to the next level and help put you in position. Like if it if it sound like jealous, it sound like envious, it sound like they going backwards. Uh, delete them, y'all. Delete them. You got to go ahead. Y'all got to cut them off. Cut them off. And and yep. stay around. Stay around Duran. Stay around Ellie. Stay around Miss Precise. Y'all got to lock in with us, and we're gonna take y'all to the top. So I appreciate your time, bro. You been you doing a hell of a job, man. My head going. Island boy. <laughs> trying to make it. I'm an <laughs> island boy. <laughs> Yeah. With a whole lot of information on consumer law. There you go. Hey, best is not the cheapest. Don't forget the this. Cheapest is not the best. Y'all take look one nugget. Information yep. will change your compensation. Your compensation will change your situation, y'all. Y'all gotta understand that. That's his bar. I gotta get this game. That's that bar. You gotta apply That's it. his bar. That's his and bar. then you missed the application. <laughs> and then you my, put it in the application. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, get your mans, bro. Whose mans is this? <laughs> it was fun, man. Hey, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Good night, man. Everybody, I just listen. wanted to come on here and say, everyone that's on here, you, do you see all the information they gave you, all the value they gave you, and they like over delivered? They've been on here for three for hours. I just this wanted to come and let people know that do not sleep on grants. Do not sleep on SBA. I'm a living testimony that. It, information gives you power only if you execute. We can give you the information. If you're not willing to execute, it won't get you to places, okay? Like, I was able to get to $750,000 in SBA, just SBA, not even grants, in three months. That's mm. by knowing the proper information. Yeah. So when you know the consumer law, you can position yourself to get out of these high interest rates, the, the bankruptcies, all these late removals. You can... Position yourself to be powerful. And once you have that power, you can go use that for not a business, but multiple businesses, which will create your generational wealth. I want to give every single one of you your flowers. Um, Christian, Mr. Precise, excuse me, Miami, it's on you. I'll see you there. <laughs> Miami is on you. Hey, hey. We're going to have to That's bring them cool. towards us, Miami. Oh, damn. I got a Lambo answer, time. I can't make it yet, That's though. But it's from Miami. It's for my birthday. But I, yeah. I can't say yet. So. Wait, when? Because you're on April, April too. 6th. We got way yeah, too many April people on 6th. April. So I'm going to do a retreat, a Consumer Law Secrets retreat. And we're going to get a yacht. We're going to get a few jet skis, VIPs only. What uh, date? I'm looking between. That... <laughs> Bro. Um, I'm putting it together now. We could, we could probably, um, we, yeah, we, hey, we could so probably, we could me, probably run something DM together. Me. Like, I could, we I could, all need to, like, go shoot content in Miami. Yeah, I could, I could, so. and I, hell, I invite my mentees to come, you know, they'll pull up. Yeah, so I, I'm putting it together now. My yeah. guy that was on here earlier, uh, Nicholas Mentor, um, he, he definitely wants in on it. And we're going to put together a retreat. And we're gonna get in contact with the boat goat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna get some toys out there. We're yeah. gonna have some jet skis. Like I said, my my premium VIP people. I'm gonna treat y'all like premium. Yeah, you're let's, in it for a treat. Let's get so, it. All right, do, I, do, do, I get, <laughs> do I still get treated like you're that VIP, too? Your VIP, your so, <laughs> VIP. All right, man. Listen. I'm, oh, um, about a little precise. I'm not sure. Um, Nish, is the Consumer Law Secret Study flashcards on the website? I hope my COO, she's still here. Hey, look, this is another thing we could teach y'all. You see, y'all, y'all see how he got his his uh, personal assistant. He got his virtual assistant, so we could teach y'all how to how to hire a virtual assistant too. Anyone um, that needs it, chief of staff, operations management, VA, you need that. DM me. And you need that, we got you. Like any but any kind of executive you need. Because we need so we I need to delegate boy. resources this year. Hey, what what's that number right there? To make it. We can't see. What is that? My is I, it eight? I, I eight hundred and forty K. 
So I was I was on a phone call earlier with one of my mentees. He opening up a uh, he opened up a club, and he's got some um, he's got some high profile. Talented. Yeah, we got trade lines, you know bro. Saying? Coming yeah. to his club, and that's what he looking. He looking to profit. It's gonna be a profit in one day, eight hundred and forty thousand. It's crazy. Mm. Look at that GPS. He's the using OPM to get the eight forty, right? I'm you, yeah. Now check this out, y'all. Everybody need a mentor, but if your mentor don't have a mentor, run because they need to get fed, just like they feeding you. See, I call myself Robin Hood. I'm like the Kanye of credit. I'm gonna get all the game from the white people, and I'm gonna come back to the hood with with I'm his Lambo. Money, the, uh, precise easy, yeah. Precise easy, y'all. I'm precise. Y'all have a good night. I'm changing my name. Yes, I'm gonna everyone tap out too. Appreciate you. You guys, everyone, go join his class for two ninety seven. You're gonna know all the information, all the information, the value. It's go like it's insane. It should only be. You guys should only be worried about the price that like if the value is absent when the value is there the price doesn't matter price don't matter because i'm an island boy yes i'll island see you in miami have a good night bye i'm gonna say this live what you gonna do this live it i gotta see for everybody that got some value i want y'all to put me in the chat if this live was Good, and you want me to repost it. Let me see y'all put all in. Let me see y'all put all in right now before I go. If you want me to save this live, let me see all in in the chat. Make sure y'all follow everybody on this panel, too. Everybody got different sauce. Like Durant, he'll teach you how to do it. For the people that know how to time, I'll do it for you. I got a whole team, precise credit. All my information is in my bio. It's in my bio. All right, I think I'm gonna save this live. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm gonna save it. You said you are. Too much stuff, bro. This so much fire, bro. This, this was crazy. Bro. People you had on, do acid. You gotta get me plugged in with him, Ooh. bro. He he crazy. He on another level. So if he's listening, oh, yeah. I said acid. Good. And he uses Metro hey, too, hey. like you guys. Homie, cold. I know, I know, bro. You know so, I'm tapped um, in. I'm listening. You know, yes, I pop in. I'm listening. I bet. I Everyone get have a great night. I'm out. I'm definitely going to be reposting this live so y'all will get a chance to watch it again. All right? I am shot. It's approaching four hours. I yeah, I'm shot. So um, thanks for joining. The hey. link is in the bio. Yep. The mentorship is there. The 24-hour inquiry removal guide is there. Um the do for self, the study flashcards is there. Everything is there. Go on the website. Everything is there, all right? Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in. Like, I drank a whole bottle. Y'all kept me hostage. I got a whole bottle. Y'all let me finish a whole bottle. So now it's time to go to sleep. So um, I'll talk to y'all on the flip side, all right? Let's go. Let's go. Elite money.